What up, Whiskey Ginger fans? Welcome back to the show. We got a good one for you today, like my man Steve Harvey done say. It is Paul Veerzy. This dude is so funny, so cool, so quick. He's got a special out right now, Nocturnal Admissions. Such a funny dude. Go see him on tour as well. He's got some dates pumping around. And your boy, your boy is happy to finally announce I am taping my special in Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado. Come on out. September 24th, we got two shows. I think it's 7 and 9.30. I'm uh, filming at the Paramount Theater. Paramount Theater, baby. Uh, I cannot wait to be in Denver filming my special. I'm so excited. September 24th. In the meantime, I'm going to be in Salt Lake City September 9 and 10, working out some stuff. I'll be in New York the week before, just bouncing around. But September 9 and 10, I'll be in uh, Salt Lake City. Uh, September 13th, I'm in Brea Improv. Let's go, Southern California. Come out and see me work the hour. And then finally, uh, one show uh, in Minneapolis and one show in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm doing the uh, Fillmore and the Barrymore, respectively. Uh, go to andrewsantino.com for all those tickets, andrewsantino.com. Plus, go to that website if you want to see the new merch. A lot of you guys love to see me in Italy jumping around uh, with Gisato. And uh, a nice, a big, a warm plate of Gisato. We worked with uh, this merch company that we got now, and they've uh, hooked it up with these great shirts, these Gisato shirts. So if you want to get a taste of a Gisato, go to andrewsantino.com. You can see the store will be right there, easily available in one of the tabs to click on, or it's in the description down below. But go get yourself a Gisato shirt from Italy. Uh, and uh, go to andrewsantino.com for everything. Go get the tickets, man. Come see me live before I'm done until summer of next year, I think. Enough rambling from me. Let's go to the episode. In here, we pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are oh, hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I mean it once again today. <laughs> it is the incomparable, incomprehensible, inconclusive, uh, in injectable, uh, interstitial, intermediate. I'm just making up bullshit right now. Paul Veerzy, thank you for uh, coming to the thanks show. Thanks for coming, dude. dude. Thanks for having cheers, me, man. Cheers, cheers. Cheers to you, man. Look me this in the is, eyes. There is, we go, just in case. I don't really, know. You didn't yeah. poison it. We're drinking yeah. a little bit of special sauce. It's none of your business what we're having, but it starts with a B. And ends in lanterns. Mm. Wow. Good, huh? Oh, my God. A little bit of good jazz. Dude. And we got these new glasses sent yeah, I to feel me. Like, I feel like it's going to fuck up it's and not. I'm going to spill all over your I table. I promise it's not. And it, that it, is unreal. It's kind of wild. Also, this table was free. This was from a garage sale. <laughs> Someone in my neighborhood <laughs> was throwing it away. I couldn't uh, I Actually, that's funny. I couldn't find a literal table that would be like good for, a, for the podcast. And years ago, I fun. found this in my fucking neighborhood. It was all broken and cracked. But you know what? Isn't you found it like on the you found it like on the street? Like yeah, nice. Yeah. Isn't broken and cracked stuff kind of the best shit on earth? You can find shit that you're like somebody's putting that away, throwing that out. It's this was not. It was in fine condition, but I think the guy was getting a divorce. I think wow. he was going through some tough times. Yeah, and she's like, yeah, she she's like, sell shit. all that. Yeah, get that stuff shit out of here and yeah. give me half. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> God, you're married. <laughs> I am. You? Yeah, I am. No yeah. kids though. Kids? Yeah, thirteen and ten. Holy shit. Yeah, dude. What's yeah, going on? The whole that... fucking thing, dude. The two kids, 13, 10, dog, cats. What are you doing? Fucking cats? Everything. Every, everything. Plural? I just, my, I don't say no, dude. I don't say no. I'm really? one of those. Yeah, I'm Will one of those. you have sex with me right I'm now on saying, camera? <laughs> no. There you go. <laughs> Liar. Guy doesn't say no. I should have meant to my kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Better, yeah, no, we, you know, I'm like, my wife's opposite. My wife's very like, you know, planned, you know, like make sure we do this right. Like you get, and doesn't like, my wife doesn't like spontaneous. I do. What do you mean? Like, if you're, like, out on vacation and you're like, let's go to this other place. She's like, no, no, we have reservations at 6.30. Well, I, no, I just walked in my son's room the other day, 5 o'clock, and we're, like, an hour north. And I was like, buddy, you want, listen, you want to go to the stadium? You want to go to the Yankee, the, the resident town? Nice. And my wife's like, what do you, it, it's, it's dinner's in an hour. I go, we're going to the stadium. I'm getting tickets. Like, it's one of, so then, th then she, she opens up to it, but I drive her nuts because she's not like that. She just, right. is, she wants, she's like, no, it's, it's Tuesday, it's dinner. I'm yeah, but like, I mean. Yeah. So what? Yeah, I know. I, hey, we we'll have we have so many dinners left. We have yeah. We have so many dinners we have left. So much. Yes. She, yeah. It's just one of those things. My son was like, "Fuck it, let's go." Oh, dude, he was like second button on the jersey was done. Who's yeah. his favorite player? Because he's thirteen. He's thirteen. I would I would have to say Judge. Got to be Judge. What it's, do you mean? That's it's like got to be Judge in that age range for kids. That's like a that was my the, Mattingly. Right. 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 I walked in. You saw and the, and the Yankees sucked then. 
Didn't matter. Didn't matter. Still the Yankees. Donnie Baseball. Yeah, you grew up so spoiled, man, you fucking Yankee fans. I'm so we, sick of it. We, I'm a Cubs kid, so, like, you don't yeah. know pain. You guys don't know yeah. pain. Yeah, because my pain was in the 80s. I was too young for the pain. Right. Because by the time the pain was over, I was in the age. Right. With like 16, I, where right. it just hit the sweet spot. I lived yeah. in the middle of it. And our stars were like Mark Grayson Sandberg, who were phenomenal, but it was also like... That's all I had as a kid. But you had something that and we didn't Dawson, have. And Dawson, but I mean, you know. Dawson was great, too. You like uh, Sandberg, Dawson. Who was the first baseman? Mark Grace. Gr- Mark Grace, yeah. Grace, Sandberg, Dawson. Look, we had, a good, we had a good crew, but it was also like the pain was just, it was just different as a kid because we were always losers. Did you cry, be, did you cry when they won or no? Are yeah, you I one took of those? my dad. You'd, oh, okay. Of course that's, I cried. Yeah, yeah. What was I supposed to uh, what, yeah. I don't cry when people die. I cry when we you win cry, World yeah, Series. I know, I know. But would you have, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would you have cried? And, would you have cried if your dad wasn't there, though? If it was just like you and a buddy? Would you? Or do you think that it was the moment with the, your dad? Yeah, it's probably. B- yeah. B- to be honest with you, yeah, it was because I would have never brought a friend. Like I, li- the moment I knew we were going, God, that's good. I said to my old lady, I was like, I have to buy me and my dad tickets. That I don't care yeah. how much it costs. And yeah. she was like, Get on the computer. It was a no brainer. She was like, You have to. This right. will never happen again. And right. it will never happen again. <laughs> 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 Did you grow up a Yank? Like a, you grew up in New York? Uh, yeah, I grew up. Well, see. I was in first grade. All that was on TV was the Mets because that was 86. Yeah. So I didn't even know there were two teams. So I was like this first grader going to school. Mets are playing the Astros in the uh, right. NLCS because the Astros were in the NL at the right. time. and switched. Then, then they're playing. Yeah, and then they're, that amazing run. So I didn't – and then um, my mother's like, we got to take Paul to a baseball game. And they said to my mom, if you take him to a baseball game, you take him to Yankee Stadium. Yeah. We're not, you're not going, there's you're no, not going you're, not to be, the you're, not the, you're not taking the kid to fucking Queens. Queens? Yeah, yeah, you're not going to Queens. I don't even know how to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, my, and she was like, and they were like the history. So then I walked into Yankee Stadium. And that was not like now, like these cookie cutters where you see everything yeah. when, right when you walk. No, that was like you had to go through the narrow thing mm. and then it opened up. And dude, Andrew, I saw fucking Donnie baseball over. Changed your life. Over. 23, yeah. green grass, the whole thing, fucking over. Got the got the yearbook, like looked at you his kids, s- his wife's s- name. I was, I knew that. Yeah, his wife's name. I, I remember, I think his wife's name was Kimberly. Hey, and I remember shout out seeing, to Kimberly, by the yeah, way. Yeah, shout out to, like, I remember seeing the whole thing. That was it for me, man. We had Mel Hall, who I think went to jail for rape, which is a bummer. God bless. But, uh, yeah. Um, Good luck. Jesse Goodbye. Barfield, this guy in right field had a cannon. By the way, Barfield? Uh, Jesse Get a Barfield. Better name. Roberto, Barfield. Roberto Kelly. He ended up, he was, he was in the Reds. Yeah, so like yeah. all those names. They I stuck remember, out in your brain as a kid. They stuck out in my brain as a kid. And, and, but you, we, we did lose, though. Like, the Yankees sucked for that, for my probably first, second grade until, actually, until 96. Yeah. Oh, no, but 90, there was a strike in 94. We were going to do good. The, base, the, baseball was off. Baseball was off when the Yankees started to make the run. And then, uh, yeah, and then, and then Giants and Knicks, and I, I really don't care about hockey. I, I can't. I try. I can't. Oh, uh, who are you, the Rangers? Are you, you know, huh? Yeah, are you hockey? Yeah, but I mean, big you know. or no? No, no, you're, no, like, you're a hey, Chicago yeah. kid. It's I mean, like, we, no, we like the Blackhawks and all that stuff. I, just, I, I like them. I, I think they're great. I, but I just grew up in a different world of sports. I never grew up with on ice. Yeah. It, you had to grow up on ice to like hockey. You know, I, I, I think the same in New York. Like, yeah, you had to kind of grow up on ice I, or with your, yeah. co- you know, I had cousins that played and that are that were really good. But yeah. no, I didn't. You know, what neighborhood you grow up in New York? Did you grow up upstate was, or in the city? No, so I was born in Yonkers, which is right outside the I know, Bronx. Yeah, but then always Westchester. And now I'm up. Now I'm about an hour north in the country. Because you were like, I gotta get matter the fuck of fact, out Giannis, of the city. Matter of fact, Giannis would visit with his wife. Yeah, and then he lives six houses down on the same side of the street. So we're like, wait, I, now you guys live that close? Yeah, yeah. Holy shit! I go in my backyard, and he'll go in his backyard. and We just start yelling, and we echo, and the and his dog and my dog are like best friends. So him, him and Brittany would come and visit, and they, and I never thought they would leave because she's from Long Island. Long Island people don't leave. Right, they like, stay. They stay. Long Island might as well be another fucking Long Island. People are like, and she just fell in love with it up there. So now they live up there. Wild. So we're like an hour and 10 out of the city, hour five. Isn't it funny to see like all of the New York comics slowly starting to spread away from the city as time has gone on? I've seen more guys. The city's a shithole. The the city's fucking over. It's just tough. It's fucking horrible. Well, also, look, if you're 23, uh, yeah, you want to live in the fucking center of it all. You want to lose your mind in in Manhattan. But I think as you get older, I've seen that with all of my friends as we progressed in comedy. You know, I've started to see guys slowly bounce out and go their own way and yeah. it was just kind of it's just kind of wild to watch because you're like when we were young and we all met yeah it was like everyone was just in everyone needed to be in the mix and now it's just <laughs> the crazy the spider veins you what i found i don't know if you found this out here i don't know if it's that much different out here but it's what you thought was important is so fucking ridiculous oh yeah Dude, man. i used to leave my family 
on a Tuesday to go fucking run into a $25 spot right. thinking it fucking, you know, in this hamster wheel. And now, <laughs> you know, like, I'm running, I'm running, right. Yeah, I'll see you at the 10, 15. I got it. It was so fucking dumb. Yeah. And my kids are like, where is he? Why is he? But I'll say this. Maybe you needed it at the time. I, There's a piece of me that like yes. goes, maybe at the time it was right. Uh, yes. And I, it stopped when it needed to stop. Uh, yeah. And me, maybe even if it went a little longer just because and then the pandemic made you realize, all right, listen, but like, yeah, you can't, you can't be on that hamster wheel. And it's also, you got to like work, work hard. We work hard. We all work yeah. hard, but you got to make it smart too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Cause you, you know, you, you want to die. You want to die with it being a culmination. You yeah. don't want to die working so hard that you forget to like enjoy any of it. It's funny you said that because these nurses, they did like a, they asked all these nurses across the world. Are you dying world. and you're about to tell and, me that and, you're dying? And, and, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that you said that. Is it dude. funny you say that I'm a terminal <laughs> cancer? I'm dying. <laughs> I'm working so hard. I'm dying. I'm so Italian. Like, God forbid. I can't even. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> As you said, I was like, God was to the side of the cross for real. Yeah. No. Um, these nurses from all over the world said that um, when people are on their deathbed, they're like last words are, I were I shouldn't I should have taken more time with my family. Like, and that's the thing. It's like yeah. it's like you're gonna like these. Fu- I don't like when comics. I don't like when comics do this. I said this somewhere else before, but I don't like when comics do where they're like, yeah, I miss my kids thing. I miss, my, and it's like, well, fucking don't, yeah, don't, don't because it's it. yeah. like you know what? Tell your agent, you know what? Book me next week because it's my daughter's dance recital or it's the daddy daughter dance. Right. You know because one day you know you're gonna be on your deathbed thinking that little girl was crying. I missed her dance recital. You'll so never get that make back. Make some fucking assholes in Ohio laugh. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> like she's going to therapy scarred for fucking life right. but, and you yeah. but you did the deal at the funny bone you had to be at go bananas it was 75 percent door deal i right. couldn't say no how do fucking, i walk I no you're right i think that's another yeah. thing the pandemic and, and age has both proved to me how much i care about uh other things i love stand-up and i love comedy so much yeah but it made me appreciate it in a different way where I was like, oh, I just have to pick and choose the way I do this now. A little bit, a little bit more honed yes. in, you know? Right. It, it, like before when you're younger, you're just shooting the gun everywhere. Now yeah, you're a sniper. Bullets, now, yeah. now you're, now, now you snipe it out. Right, that's, exa- that's exactly what it is. And, and I do the same thing. And like, sometimes I still have the mentality of, am I doing enough? Am I doing enough? Do I need, and, and my wife, like my wife will actually hone it in and be like, dude, you're, you know, I put the special out and I was so worried because when the special came, the special came out, um, on Netflix, in June, on June 23rd, and my next week I was in San Diego, and I had to do a new hour, and luckily I did. I did. I got to I, I got to over 60 minutes, and it was everything I wanted. But the stress of that, like it was like being back in the hotel, like actually, mm-hmm. like you know when you're, you know, like now we go on the road. How long have you been doing it? 17 years. Okay, yeah, yeah, v- very similar. Uh, uh, we go on the road, and. Now you go into the hotel, you check, you eat, you do everything, and then in your mind, you're like, all right, this is the set, because this is the set you're working on. Right. Maybe, maybe I'll throw this in there, maybe I'll do that. But when when the Netflix thing came out, I had people hit me up going, hey, man, should we watch your special or come to the show? Like, what are you? And I'm like, no, 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 come, it's going to be. But that's when you're in the room going like, oh, shit, like, let me make sure, like, all right, this one, shit, I think I could get to 45. You know, and then it ended up being great, but, like, that's the, that's, it's nerve-wracking. Do you play the comedy store in La Jolla, or would you play down in San Diego? No, I played American Comedy Company. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. Great room. Well, now there's 90 rooms down there. It's a different world. And yeah. speaking of which, go watch uh, the special on Netflix. That's a good transition. If you haven't seen the special yet, please go watch the special. It's available on Netflix. You have Netflix. Yes. Uh, I know you didn't cancel it just because of the Chappelle stuff. And if you did, just reinstate it just to watch a special. Yeah. Then cancel it again if you're mad about Dave. <laughs> yeah, it's called Paul Verzi Nocturnal Admissions. It's doing well. Nocturnal the Admissions re- is a great uh, Nocturnal the, Admissions. Nocturnal Admissions is a great title. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank it's you. phenomenal. We were thinking of like Nocturnal because I said that I'm a nocturnal. T- I've always since I'm little. My mom, dude, it was weird. It was weird. Like my mother's friends would come over when I was a baby, and she would be like, "Dude, you ate at like ten, and then you went to bed till five. And people were like, "Dude, is your baby sick?" Like I always. And then at night I was up. Uh, so I was always this nocturnal. So I talk about that, and then end- we ended up coming up with the play on words. But uh, did you pick no, it, or did someone else say it? No, I did. I picked it. Okay, good. I picked it. But here's the thing: I picked it five years ago for another one. And I, and somebody's like, I don't know. And it was always in the back. And then when I said nocturnal in the special, I was like nocturnal. And, and, and Berlina was like, dude, yeah, you should go with nocturnal emissions. I go, right. And we did. Yeah. That's money. Yeah. 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 That's great, man. Well, yeah. go, please go watch it. If you're, if you're Thank watching you, right now, uh, pause the podcast. Go watch yeah, yeah. it. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> It'll change your perspective Fuck, on that's him. That's a plug. Yeah. Yeah. No, but you know what? You're you're in deep with those guys. You you had mentioned someone that runs uh, a gentleman that runs Bill Burr's company. I know you you and Bill are really tight. You guys knew each other from back when he was so in Boston I, or in New York. Yeah. So I I um I would open for Bill 
so on some of his East Coast runs. We mm -hmm. became friends. He saw me in 05, liked me and referred me to a room. And then in 07, I started to like open for him here and there. And we became super. Bill's my son's godfather, you know. We're, we're, he's like family to me now. But um, yeah, so we just started working together. He's an East Coast uh, Boston guy. I'm a yeah. New York guy. We talk shit about the Yankees and the and the Red Sox and the pa uh, Patriots and the Giants. So yeah, we we met and then um, when he started the company with actually, I think Ari Shafir was part of that too. Like at, for, it was well, it was uh, it was him. It was uh, Burr and uh, Al Madrigal. Is Burr, it? Yeah. yeah, Burr, Al yeah. Madrigal. Now Mike Berlino, who who runs a, all these great guys. So they uh, yeah, they were the producers of the they were the producers of the special. Of the special, but, yeah. Yeah, and and my got to shout out my my dear friend Pete. Davidson directed it. Oh, he did? And, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, no shit. Yeah, yeah. Pete's I didn't my, know he directed oh, that. Yeah, Pete's my guy. That was the first thing he ever directed because he, uh, Pete saw me when I was like 16 and like I became one of his favorite comics and then in 18, uh, he did my podcast, The Verzi Effect. We just hit it off, man. He's, dude, he is... He's so fucking cool, man. Like, yeah, he's a good egg. Oh, dude, he's the best. He's yeah. so down to earth and the best. I've known best. him for a long time, yeah. Dude, he would fuck it. Like, I would call him on a Saturday night, and he would answer, like, hello. i go, hey, what's going on? And he'd be like, nothing. And all of a sudden, he'd be like, I'm at work. And he'd, be, he'd be on SNL, dude. He'd be, he'd be, like, it'd be like 11.45, and he'd be in the thing, and he'd be like, oh, I'm just making sure you're good. You know, and like that, I tell that story a lot because that's the dude that he is, and he's so misunderstood. It's, it pisses me off, kind of. Yeah, but I mean, dude, it's so hard. It's, it's, no, it, nobody's oh, going to understand us any anyway. I know. You, you, you're, you're, you are an item to them in a way that you can't this, explain. And this is fucking. This is delicious. Huh? I mean, dude, this is. To the gods. Cheers to the, the gods. Cheer, dude, cheers, cheers to, to the you gods. giving me this because this ah, is. Ah, come on. Dude, this is like. this. It's is, a little bit of secret sauce. The yeah. audience doesn't know. We got a little secret sauce going I'm, on. I'm going like, yeah, I'll do a little sip now. I'm like, dude, get that fucking thing out of here, dude. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm just. I'm <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, call, I'm, call, I'm calling your wife. I'm like, he, he's passed out at the studio. He's thrown up everywhere. I know we don't know you. He missed his flight. I'll take the kids to soccer. I promise. <laughs> now that it's summertime with the kids yep. back home, is it kind of nuts? Or are they shifted? Do you ship them off to camp? My kids are my kids are just let's go, let's do things. Oh, so there, it's not it's not annoying around the house. It's like we're going we're gone. We're doing shit well, all the yeah, time. Yeah, like so so my son is really good at basketball. He's at John Wallace. You know John Wallace? Do you remember John Wallace? Mm -mm. John Wallace went to the Final Four for Syracuse. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, so yes. he's he's coaches my son's. Oh, he does. Yeah, is, a, is he on AAU yeah, or whatever? Well, yeah, well, yeah. So and, whatever and, it's called, and uh, and my son is like a point guard for the junior high. And my son is my son is. He's nasty, huh? Nasty. He's nice with my it. My son dropped thirty six in the last game. He hit eight threes, and I'm thirty six points. I'm on a fucking airplane, and coaches are texting me, going, "Dude, your son is lighting the gym up." And I and then you know, and Stacy was like, "This is amazing," and I was like, "Well, can you fucking send video?" Yeah. Like you know, she was she's like, "I know, I was just so into it." I was like, "I'm wow. kind of his dad." Thirty six is disgusting. Yeah, he, you know, he hit like. Eight, three. His, I think that's his, what I dropped my whole high school career. His shot is his shot is uh, he's had NBA players and college players go do. But here's the thing though, I'm five eight. His mother uh, is five one. Say, but both and neither of, of you is bo black. Both, huh? both of not now. No, yeah. Well, I'm Sicilian, so you don't know. You know, but <laughs> same. Uh, are you Sicilian? Yes, yeah, Antino. I know. Yeah, I just got back from Sicily, actually. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I've been I've been there a few times. Try to go to the homeland. Yeah. I, I was such a fucking asshole. I was gonna book the family Sicily, Greece, because that's what I am. My mother's Greek. Mm. My father's Sicilian. I was gonna book the yeah, family. Yeah, you're double dirty, bro. That's then, dirty people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm Mediterranean, you're dude, a, through and through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. fish eating grease dude, ball, oh, bro. Dude, I see white leather. I start sweating. I get so happy. Uh, <laughs> Look yeah. at that couch. Oh, dude, you give me white marble, anything white. It's just, I just, I'm drawn it's into on it. On you. Oh, yeah. dude, I, I love it. I love it. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, Brett Ernst got me into cologne on another level. It's all, it's all coming out. The chain's got to come. Something's happening to me. I'm, dude, something has yeah. happened. Like the, the old Italian man in me is starting to morph out. Sure. You know, it's but, transforming, man. But I'm such a dick because, uh, when Putin goes into Ukraine, uh -huh. it was right when we were going to book the tickets and I'm going like, I know it's not going to be, but then you're like, if there's a world war three and then I'm like, I don't want to be in Europe with my young children yeah. and something happens. And then now I see people taking selfies in the Coliseum. I'm like, fuck, should've we should have done it. I know. I know. We'll go next year. But it, I feel like I did the right thing at the moment. Well, the, ti the timing was everything. Uh, yeah. I had booked a Europe trip and then literally COVID hit. I mean, it was creepy. It was like, we finally said yes. And then I was like, we're going, we're going, yeah. we we're going to go in May. And then March of 2020, it was like, it shut down the fucking world. So we had to cancel everything. No kids. No kids. No, just us two. You're going for kids or no? Yeah. Yeah. yeah if yeah. we get one, we'll grab one. You, why, you want me to loan yours? I'll take yours for three more years. I'll take the 15-year-old. <laughs> I'll take the three-year Well, here's the thing. You're a, you're a Sicilian kid, mm -hmm. and we need more. Yeah, you got to produce. We need more, yeah. I know. We're, yeah, we're rare. Although, my dad, 
I'll I don't do even, it. my dad has probably 30 kids. I don't know how many kids my dad has. It. He's got kids all over the world. Yo, my dad is such an over the top character. He, my whole, our whole, they got divorced when I was five and my older brother was 10. I was one. And bitter, my bitter. Okay. Yeah. Bitter. Bitter, huh? Oh, hated, yeah. The first time they were <laughs> under the same roof after that was my wedding, 30 years later. I mean. They never spoke again never. for 30 years, your parents. No, never. My Holy fa- my, my father, was, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. It was brutal. You know, it was brutal. But like, he'd be like, you know, we're Sicilian. He would literally say this. He would be like, it's, it's better than. It's just better than, and like with no explanation. Like, what, what do you mean? Like, it's, it's better than Italian. He's just saying you're the best people in the world. Like, you know, he was like that. Right. You know, that he was. It's like a level up to him. Oh, yeah. dude, my, you know. Well, they fault. got nothing in common. When you go to mainland, you go down there, they're really different people. It's like, it's two complete, it's, it's just like Northern California, Southern California. It's the same thing. It'd be like saying a New Yorker and yeah. a kid from Philly. And you'd be like, there are, these are totally different people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's the same idea, so, but right. very but different, different cultures. And, and yes. it's so close. Yeah. Um, where did the red hair come from? <clears throat> I'm Irish too. My mother's a leprechaun, man. My mom is a tiny little Irish, Irish lady. Oh, so they're so all Irish, and then the other so side's also so, Sicilian. So oh, okay. But it's all Italian and Irish people. Oh, the, oh my awful God. people, bro. Awful uh, people. Th- th- and thank God for the Sicilians because I just went to Ireland. And some of the uh, ugliest people I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Uh, really? Shout out to Ireland. I'm joking. Uh, I love uh, you. Relax. All uh, the fucking Irish people get all mad. Yeah, no, dude. It was just, you know, I, look, there's not a lot of supermodels coming out of Ireland. Prove me wrong. All right? Yeah. Say I'm wrong. Are you, is your Sicilian side like real Sicilian as oh far as God. like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's disgusting. It's crazy, right? Yeah, it gets ridiculous. I talked about it anybody. on this show. No, but it's also like they're just old school. My grandfather was just very, very old school, was a hustler, was a street guy, you know? Yeah. So, and all, ever, all the money he made was uh, street hustles. He used to sell floor mats out of the trunk of his car. I mean, he would go down yeah. to the textile factories. Yeah. He knew a guy who would cut rubber. He'd cut yeah. rubber. He'd walk into a kitchen at a fucking restaurant. Yeah. And he'd go, you could slip and break your neck on these things. And people were like, get the fuck out of here. He's like, give me the manager. And he would literally, he would be, he, <laughs> dude, he would convince the manager <laughs> to take the mats out, yeah. put his mats in. He yeah. would just forcibly no, put them in a, and hustle. go 250. Yeah. 250 or 200. And definitely had co- friends that did illegal shit. Oh, who yeah. knows where he cut the rubber yeah, from. Yeah, they were friends. Yeah, yeah they had yeah. friends. They had yeah, friends yeah, all yeah. over. Oh, they always knew. But he, but he was, that was his whole thing. I mean, never a day my lady used to laugh. There wasn't a day I saw my grandfather for lunch. We'd go see him. There wasn't a day that he didn't have gifts in the car. So we'd go out to his truck and he'd be like, you know, I got, I got coats. I'll have hat. He got, he'd always yeah. have Kangles. He'd have coats, oh, yeah. winter gloves, winter's coming. He always had stuff because you know, if you have friends, they find their way off the thing into yeah. the thing. And he was a street hustler my whole life. Yeah. No, but my, that's all I knew was uh, hustle. No, with my Sicilian side, it was always like, you know, I'm talking about this in the new hour. My dad would just judge people. You need a new watch. You need a nice car. You need to be dressed. Nice. Wouldn't trust anybody. For, he, wouldn't, yeah. he wouldn't trust anybody. And when people loved somebody, he was always. My father worked on Martin Luther King Day purposely. <laughs> why? 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 He was. Like, <laughs> he, he, he worked. He worked. He'd be like, yeah, everybody's. You know, nobody takes off on Martin Luther King. I don't know if he was a good guy. <laughs> He goes, I don't know. He goes, I don't I know. He goes, I don't know if he's a good What is your pervert? Fuck that. I don't know that fucking guy. I'm working. I got money to make. And I dude, I'm like little. I'm I didn't saying, know MLK. Yeah, 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 yeah but show Dad, me his he, resume. Yeah, anybody, he goes, anybody could say everybody's equal. I don't know that man. I'm working. I got <laughs> money to make. Dude, my dad, my dad called up, dude. This is a story I just found out. I gotta make this a joke. I, but I don't know how to. He, he goes, uh, he called my brother's principal when my brother was young, and he goes, this is, dude, this is 100% real. He goes, yeah, he goes, uh, I got a quote. He goes, my son, Christian, my older brother, five years older, he goes, my son uh, <laughs> came home, he fucking knitted me, uh, he goes, he fucking knitted me something. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right. And then he goes, and then the next day, he came home with a fucking cupcake. And he goes, what, what's, what the fuck's going on down there? And the guy goes, oh, it's home economics. We do things like yeah, that. Yeah. He goes, you going to send them over here in a fucking dress? <laughs> he goes, let me tell you something. Take them out of the class right. or I'm pulling them out of the school. Like my dad was like, my dad, dude. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I said in the special that's on Netflix now, if my dad was a comic today, canceled. Canceled. Canceled 90 seconds. First <laughs> joke. Just, just, they would have pulled the cord and go, what did he say? No, he's got, like, he's just. You're it, turning him into some kind of mo? What are you doing yeah. sending him home? He goes, cupcake. Okay, is that what you want my son to be? A cupcake? Don't get me wrong, it was delicious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's, what it, that's it. Yeah, yeah, it was, no, don't I, get me. Every, who doesn't like a cupcake? Well, did you eat it? Yeah, of course I ate it. It was a fucking cupcake. I'm I, not, I mean, it was chocolate. It was delicious. It's not but, insane, but No, you know. but he, like, my dad was definitely, like, one of those. And now, you know what's funny is they got divorced on five and, and my brother's ten. And at first, you're a kid, you don't know why. But then when you see them in life, you see how different. Well, when you grow up, like, you understand why they didn't belong together, maybe. You, you kind of just see, like, it's just totally different. Like, my father was big on static. Like, my father would get a fur 
coat, get my mother a matching one, watches and stuff. But he was like, we're going to get a boat. We're going to get a bigger house. Like he was moving up he in AIG. And she was like, I just want a fucking, you know. Like, an easy life. I just want an easy life. I don't care about yeah. that. I don't care about that. So you could see how like them as a couple wouldn't, wouldn't work. In here, we pour whiskey. whiskey, whiskey. Hey, man to man. I care about you guys, okay? I've spoke about Roman on this show before, but I want you to feel confident. I want you to feel like the whisk ginge. Look at I'm confident and I have orange hair. Come on, man. Uh, you too can have confidence, all right? And if you're looking for that, you can start with Roman, friend. Roman swipes are clinically proven to help you last longer in bed. You wanna go the length? You wanna go the distance? Huh? You gotta get yourself some Roman. Look, some of you are quick. Not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal at all. You're quick because you like it. That's a good thing. It'd be terrible if it took a long time because you couldn't stand it, right? But you're quick because you like it, and Roman Swipes now are clinically proven to help you last longer so you can show off what you got. There's no prescription needed at all, which is huge, and PE treatments are safe, effective, and used by millions and millions of men. Plus, Roman's got free two-day shipping. Let me tell you something. Easy as that. Take a little swipe on the old pipe, and get it humming like the old days. What it does is it helps you last a little bit longer in bed, which is incredible for you and your partner, and you get to enjoy the experience a little bit longer. And I gotta tell you, no big deal out there. There's a lot of embarrassing things running around people's head about PE stuff, uh, but it's not. It's not that big of a deal. Millions of people use it. So it lasts longer with Roman. All you have to do, guys, is go to getroman.com slash whiskey today. Do it right now. And if you're approved, you'll get $10 off your first order. That's very easy to do. All right, that's getroman.com slash whiskey, getroman.com slash whiskey. Hey, you guys, is there anything that matters more to you than the safety of yourself and your loved ones when you're in your home? I don't think so. All right, that's what I'm here to tell you about Simply Safe. In fact, quick little story, literally last night, the old lady called me up and said uh, there was someone shooting off fireworks in the neighborhood and a couple of them skipped over the fence and set off our Simply Safe cameras and system and let me know. The teenage kids were goofing around. Not that big of a deal, but it was nice to know that we had the safety precautionary measures to protect people when I'm not home. So uh, let me tell you something. So many security companies don't care about what's really going on. I don't think they're paying attention. And that's why I like Simply Safe and I trust their home security system. Their advanced security technology helps me sleep much better at night, particularly if I'm on the road or I'm out of town. They always put me and the family safety at first. That's why I love them so much. They got 24 seven professional monitoring around the clock. They don't take time off, baby. Uh, their monitoring agents truly care about the well-being of all of the customers, and they're highly trained to keep you calm and safe during stressful situations. If they arrive, which they probably won't, and you hope they don't. Um, but the, the best part is they got uh, no, uh, they've got no like hidden fees or long-term contracts because uh, they want you to feel it safe at home and not break the bank. And I got to tell you, it was amazing to have Simply, Self, Simply Safe help me out when I felt vulnerable and I wasn't at the house and the alarms uh, all got tripped and the cameras went off and I was seeing uh, little teenagers milling about because I was also a little punk teenager hopping fences and causing trouble, but it was nice to know that it was simply safe. We were observed, it was captured, and they were there to help us. So that's what's wonderful. Uh, if you wanna keep your home safe, keep it simply safe, customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes. Go to simplysafe.com slash whiskey, simplysafe.com slash whiskey. Go today and you can claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off with interactive monitoring. Go to simplysafe.com slash whiskey. Ginger. I like gingers. Well, I knew. I mean, my, my parents just didn't work because my dad loved drugs in jail. <laughs> so that was oh, never going to happen. Yeah. Oh, okay. In and out of jail when I was a kid. But he got his life together later. You know, much later, he, like, got it all together. But was when he I was, a gambler or no? He was in everything, dude. He, yeah. he was an addict. I mean, he loved everything. There he wasn't, loved, I mean, he's, he gambler for sure. I mean, you know, going to the track and going to the boat, we, the boat in Chicago, you know, we have to have our uh, casinos on water in the Midwest. Okay, yes. It's a bullshit loophole. So they put a boat, it's docked forever, but it's on water. You know what I mean? That was like an old. That was like an old thing that they Still? were going to the boat. Like, no, no, no. That was years ago. Now I think the rules have all changed because Rivers Casino. I think certain casinos can't do certain games on oh, okay. certain. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. But it's, they go down yeah. to the boat, and you know he would always say, "He's like, oh, just a couple. You know, I'm gonna spend a couple of bucks at the boat." And I got used to hearing stuff like that. I didn't know any better, but I that was always hustling. Just yeah, a couple yeah. of bucks at the boat. It's a Tuesday night. Because to my dad, it was like if he wasn't using the yeah. boat, was the best alternative, which is true. Not drinking and doing drugs, yeah. he would just go throw, you know, gamble. Because what's the other vice? At some point, that's one of those things where when I would go to those, uh, what are they called? Al-Anon? Why can't I? Yeah, Al-Anon, right? No, is that Al-Anon? Isn't it Al-Anon? I, I'm drawing such a weird blank. 
When I was a kid, they're, they're, um, they're, uh, I have to look it up because I'm freaking, freaking out. You know when, like, you know when your brain stops working, you're like, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. it's for family, Al-Anon. I'm right. Oh, okay. Al-Anon is like, um, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's like for family members of addicts, you know? If you're like a son of an addict or a daughter. Or oh, written, okay, it's a support system type yeah, thing. Got right. it, got it, yeah. And those things always would say, like, there was always supplementation of addiction, right? Like, you know. My joke always was like, yeah, they, it's like, yeah, you gave up booze, but you picked up cigarettes and coffee and it's the yeah. same. It's like you, you'll drink nine cups of coffee and smoke oh. two packs. Dude, it's you like, ever perform for like N.A.? Yeah. It's, dude, it's the line for coffee is like getting in for t- – like coffee <laughs> right, is right, fucking everything. Right, right. <laughs> right. So you're like, w- w- is, is there gold? Are they giving away yeah. gold? They're like, no, this is the only thing that can catch me – you know, can make me feel a type of way. Alter, like, sh- just shift your brain a little bit. Yeah. So then I learned that it was like, you're going to supplement an addiction, but if it's throwing a couple of bucks at cards, that did, I understood it. I got it. I right. was like, right. As, you know, they say you have to be careful in leading to other stuff. And I'm certainly not an expert on addiction, but yeah. I did understand, I started to understand why you would supplement. Like, you got any, yeah. what, you got any vices? Um, no, like, I was, I, was, I was the type of guy, I just never wanted the party to end. But I didn't mm. have, I wasn't like, I wouldn't like when the party ended, I wouldn't like go sneak shut. Like I've been around alcoholics yeah, yeah. where all of a sudden there's just like a, it's like a little family day. And then all of a sudden the guy comes back and he smells a little different. Like, oh, he's doing shots in his like shower. Right. That's <laughs> fucking nuts. Tough. You know, that's a, yeah, that's tough. I was just a type where like, if me and you like, we're having, we had a party here, we're watching a game. I'd be like, Andrew, let's pour another one. Of the, dude, let's get some cigars. Let, we'll get another bottle. And like my in wife is like, way. dude, it's five in the morning. Like it's over. But you know, is it over? You know what's funny that you said that? Giannis, so Giannis just comes to, up to the house and we watch a doc. So we'd smoke a cigar. We'd always say, you want to watch a doc? Let's watch a doc. And we'd put it on. And, like, and I'd, he'd have one like me and you just now. Yeah, so like we'd, right? we'll sniff and then he would, you know, Then at like 1.30 in the morning, I'd see him get real tired. And he would see me just take a bottle of Lagavulin and just pour another two inches. And he would go, like, what, he'd go, what the fuck are you doing? Like it's, no one's here. You're, it's a good night. It's a little good and night. I, and I, but yeah, but I would <laughs> always beat myself up a little extra. Mm-hmm. But, but, not, but not a pro. So I guess my vice is just a good time. Trying to fuck a guy it. that likes a good time. I'm a guy that likes a good time. As long as it doesn't interrupt your family time. You know, if, it, if, it, if it's getting in the way of being a dad yes. or a husband. Yeah, and I'm glad that I didn't get into, I'm not a psychedelic guy. I you can't don't do, Have you no, ever done them? No, fuck that. No, really? I mean, I mean I, years and years ago, we did, I did, I, what it, I spit it out, dude, and I still got a little remnants of it. They were like, oh, it's acid. It's called a white pearl. And I put it on my tongue, and I sat there for a second, and then I was just like, what am I doing? And I took it out, and what it did was it kept me – I ended up seeing streaks, and, I, and it kept me up late. But mm-hmm. I I'm, I don't want to ever question why I exist, dude. I have anxiety. Like, I can't <laughs> – you know you know those guys who, like, figure shit out? Yeah. Like, I got friends that are like, dude, I took mushrooms, and everything got Changed figured out. Life. I'm like, I yeah. can't. I don't want that shit, dude. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Are I, you – Are you? Uh, I, I, you know, look, I was a pothead for 15 years of my life. I I smoked pot all the, I loved smoking pot. Yeah. And then I just all but almost quit. I like it. I like to have a joint every once in a while with a friend at the house in, in the yard, in the backyard. If someone comes over Isn't and we're having friends over. Huh? Something about doing it well, home. Well, yeah, I'm at my house. I like being at my house. You, you, I, I, I want to be happens, home. You're, you're on your couch. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to my room. Yeah. yeah. So I like to, at home, so once in a while, we'll have friends over. We'll be on the back throwing bags or, you know, talking shit and hanging. And yeah, I might smoke a joint, but. I just in the more recent years have just kind of curbed it a little bit for some reason. I put it all, but I just never, ever do it. And then with psychedelics, I did it a lot when I was young in high school, college a little bit. And then now more recently, I've tried a few more times. And I got to tell you, I love it. I really do love it. (laughs) But here's why. Yeah. It's so much. When I was young, dude, we were just, it was like, it it was so hard to get drugs. I mean, it was easy, but it was also like such a big deal. Now... With the freedom of this fucking state, I can go get mushrooms yeah. now. We can leave here. We can go get them yeah, now. That's crazy. It's just too easy. Yeah. So, but the good news was by the, the the simplicity of it, I'm not inclined to take as much as I can find. Like right. when I was a kid, dude, we were like, how many how many can we eat? I mean, right. let's eat as many as we can because we'll never get mushrooms for another couple of months. Or yeah. who knows? Well, maybe next year we won't get them for another summer. But now, as an adult, I can regulate it. It's so much more like down to the science of it, that I do enjoy it. I'm not going to lie. I've had some... It does make the brain feel good, man. I've had some... Yeah, I've definitely had those... I feel like if I was an addict, I'd be a pill guy. You mm. know, Vicodin. Oh, shit. You know, Xanax. Well, yeah. I like to just... I like the. I like to be mellow, but me. Oh, right. When it goes to another world... I had a couple of bad ones, dude. I remember we... I, one thing that really, I think, scarred me with this is me and my buddies, we skipped school. We did a ditch day. We got in my buddy's car, and we went to Manhattan. And I remember we're drinking... 
pumping Wu Tang. Yeah, you know, I, just, I remember we're going to that cash rules going. everything <laughs> around me. Yeah. Yes, and dude, we picked up a hitchhiker. We picked up a guy. What off the high. We picked up a yeah. Dude, we were we were like yeah, get him. <laughs> <laughs> like I had no clue. We See thought, what he has to offer. We, we thought it would be cool. We're You're like right. in eleventh and twelfth grade. Pick you know it was pick like in Dumb and Dumber. Pick, pick him up. up. So he gets in and he's like, hey man, I appreciate you guys looking. And he gives us a bag of he gives us a bag of weed when he leaves. Uh, right? We don't know what's in it. Mm. This guy's off the fucking street. Right. We go back to my buddy's house and we roll it, dude, and we smoke this thing. And I remember staring at the pattern of the kitchen floor. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if it was for five minutes or five, four hours. <laughs> and and I just looked at my buddy's face and the pattern was on his face. And I had a meltdown, dude. You I lost like, it. I, yeah, dude, every, everything. Like, yeah, dude. And I'm just like, I'm like, well, what the fuck was in that? Mm-hmm. that fu-? And, and, and I was on the couch and I feel like I'm having a heart attack. So like I, and I'm also like a thinker too much. Right. It'll go bad. Like, it, it's always like, because I, I suffer from shit like anxiety, depression, depression anxiety, OCD. Yeah. So things that like kind of bothered me young and any insecurities, that starts to creep in. But if I take like a little bit of an edible and I'm just chill, I'm happy. Uh, yeah. So, but it's the thing like going like, you know, I, I've talked to friends that are like, oh, take my, you know, Ari Shafir was like. Well, he loves that to my shit. back room. My, he comes to my backyard. He goes, dude, we got to go to Verzi's and just go in his backyard, take mushrooms and look at the sky. And I'm like, yeah, dude, I'll fucking have a full-fledged panic attack. <laughs> like, I can't. I think what you, but I think that thing that scared you into it, there's something good about having a little bit of a pop because you kind of know you're always going to be okay. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like, once you come yes. back, you know, oh, I'm always going to come back. I'm, yes. I'm never not going to come back. Yeah. So the good news about uh, psychedelics, edibles, weed, or THC, or something, my whole thing was, I always knew I was, if you kept it in your brain stem, you're like, I'm going to come back. This is a this yeah. is a temporary thing. Yes. Which is, by the way, uh, not to be sound like a stony dude, but it's kind of a metaphor for life. There's a lot of bullshit you're going to face in your life. You're going right. to have some really tough times. That's true. And you always, you're like, I'm going to be back. You're going to come back. I have to co- focus on I'm going to make it back to whatever is my centering point. Uh, when you have some trouble in life and someone gets sick or something really tragic happens, it's like, you got to know you're going to come back. Yeah. And psychedelics does kind of the same thing. It puts you to an edge where you're like, oh, I'm pretty deep, man. Like, I'm out. My brain is out. But you're like, I will come back to a sense of balance. You know, it's funny you said that because— I'm uh, like a fucking when, guru. No, right? no, when I talk, no, but it's funny you said it because when I talk to Rogan, he goes, I like the danger and being uncomfortable, but like— that, And that's where I teeter. That's where I'm sure. like— Because you're like, oh, I'm coming back. Me, I'm like, I'm kind of here now. Like, I want to stay. <laughs> like, I don't need to—I don't want to go on the journey and yeah. come back. Like, I'd rather just You're chill comfortable. Out. Yeah, but like this, like, dude, I have a couple of these, and we're shooting the shit, talking sports. Like, I'm good. Maybe sometimes when I get a little hammered, I'm like, give me that weed, and I'll start smoking weed yeah. and doing that. But going, like, the acid and the and the mushroom thing, I don't know, maybe, you know. Let's, um, how about this? Burr told me he did it. Burr told me he did mushrooms and it changed his life. Yeah. And he said it changed his life because he said he let him know something about himself that he was kind of looking for. And then now he's better. And, it, it, you know, and he talked about it. And I was just like, all right, man. Like, so I don't know. Maybe one day. I mean, I don't know. Are don't you know. around for, what do you, you leave tomorrow? Back to New York? I leave tonight. I'm on a red eye tonight. Okay, so I'm coming to New York in a month. Are you? Okay. I'm bringing you a gift. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm bringing you a gift and you can do it. If you don't want it, you can give it to somebody else. But there are these little gummy mushrooms that this lady, Carol. Gummy mushrooms? Yeah. Car- Carol from Oregon. Why can't I remember her name? Man, I'm a dummy. She gave, wow. she was so sweet. But I did a Seattle or a Seattle and Portland and she gave them to me and they're pre-measured out. They're like perfect. You know, so it's like, you yeah. know exactly what you're getting into and they're for taking micro doses of. So yeah. you take one little small of these things. You're good. You, you might, you might not feel much to be honest. Okay. So it's kind of nice. So you start there, see if you like it. Yeah. I'm, one of I'm our, bringing it to New no, York. No, I appreciate I'm it. Doing one, it. One of our sponsors is Diet Smoke. Have you ever? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like I did like 10 milligrams of that and I was just like, oh, this is like, I like that. Like I like to feel chill and calm. And but just let it come in a little bit. Get a couple of, oh, that's I mean, nice. I like a Xanax and booze, but they said you could die. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know, dude. So I yeah, go, they I, did say I, that. They said, like, yeah, I go on. Yeah. I was, I went to like, uh, I went on an airline, and I was just like, and the lady's like, how you doing? I go, I'm doing great. Yeah. And so I was like, yeah, man, you know, I feel good. And I, I don't know why. I was like, yeah, no, I just took a Zanny. I feel good. And then I was like, can I get a vodka soda? And, and she was like, I don't really know if I can do that. And I didn't know why she meant that, but she mm. meant like, I, I can kill you. Cause, yeah. Yeah. You have was. enough of these, man, and you're on Xanax. That's how people end up. Not not coming back. Is that right? I mean, look, dude. It's typically a lot of drugs in your system that you, you probably yeah. have had, if you take a couple of Xanny bars and you have a ton of booze, <laughs> yeah. you might not wake up. Oh, fuck, it's not yeah. a good. I think if you had one Xanax and a drink or two, I don't think I see. I don't. I'm not yeah. promoting it. I'm just right. saying 
I don't know if that's going to get you. Yeah, I but think, a lot of times people take two or three or whatever, yeah. how many their system can take. No, I would only take one little Xanax drink. and have a beer and feel good. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, dude, let me when ask I you broke this. my back, I had, I, had some, uh, I had some fun pills. You, you, you broke your back? Well, I fractured. I, sh- I should be more clear. Which disc? I, I fractured L4, L5. Oh, mine was herniated. My really? L4, my L4, L5 was herniated. So did, then you had a sciatica too or no? Oh, my God, shooting down my leg. But I but did everything this, I could. Welcome back to 65 and older. Yeah. Back problems. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I'm saying shit that's old. Yeah. Like, I'm, in my, I'm saying shit that's old. Dude, I walked past, me and Giannis were walking, and I just out of nowhere, I was just like, dude, that guy's roof. He's got five years on that thing. <laughs> I was like, dude, if it rains, dude, he's getting rain in the you house. You knock on his door, you're like, <laughs> I just want to tell you we're walking by. This this thing's a little bit off, and I want to check it. Can I get up there dude, and check it out? Dude, those shingles, dude, you got those five years. Yeah, man. no, it, it's funny getting older, but I want to ask you this because I know, uh, and Bertolina told me, a bunch of people told me because we were talking about coming out here golfing. Yeah. And I know that you're a nasty golfer. I'm all right. Are you the type of guy that will you go out and have a couple pops and a cigar, or are you like, are you so focused on the score that like, because me, I play well. And and if I drink, it'll fuck it up because I'm right. so mental with it. Mm-hmm. You know, like if I'm get if I get like a birdie, a couple pars, and I'm in the round, I'm like I, a beer will fuck it up. But are you beer doesn't bother me at all. I mean, I, okay. and I, I but I like a good cigar when I'm walking. Oh yeah, you know I love a good, have a good cigar. Yeah. I've uh, you know the old ladies ask me to do a little bit less because you do get to a point where I'll have one every time I play because somebody yeah. wants one. Yeah. It's so easy to find someone to smoke a cigar with you when you're playing golf because oh, so. there's one guy in the group that for sure will go. I'll have a cigar with you. And, uh, yeah, and then there's so, a guy go, I got a bunch of them. Anybody want? Right. Like, I, you got kids. It, no. it, it, it just gets fucking so, nine in the morning. Uh, yeah, yeah, dude. See, that's right? what happens, no, too. And then happens. you're like, should we get a, should we get a beer? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't, I've tried to <laughs> not drink when I golf because, uh, because I golf often. If I'm not shooting and I'm not working, I golf yeah. early, early in the morning, knock yeah. it out, and then I have the rest of the day. Yeah. And like, I've just, when I first started when I first joined a golf club, I just, I, I just want, I, you know, you drink every time because somebody wanted to buy you a drink. And then now I've settled into being like, I don't really like drinking that much when I golf because it's so easy to keep drinking. And then yes. the rest of the day is beat because yes. the sun and the booze. So yeah. I like to have a couple of pops. Like yeah. I, I'll have one or two mm-hmm. with friends. It depends on the day. And then, uh, and then call it. I don't like, you know, and guys are like, that fucking shot. Like I yeah. was actually, I said this to my wife the other day. Yeah. Stop. This is on TikTok. Or, it was, yeah, it was on TikTok. And it was like this girl was recording her boyfriend. And she was like, every time he goes golfing with the boys, and he was in space. I mean, he was nothing in his, no one was home. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, what were you doing? He's like, I, I only had three beers. And she's like, three beers? He's like, I'm sorry. And you could tell, you know what I mean? Yeah, You're yeah, like, this just, guy was in space. Yeah, the but I, but I, I looked at it and I was like, stop normalizing blacking out on golf courses because I got to tell you yeah. there's nothing worse to me than when I go out and play a course and dudes are annihilated yeah. and they're not even playing golf yeah. I don't mind if you're having fun with friends yeah. but dude there's guys they're so blacked out they can't even like keep it going yeah yeah it's just, like, I got a friend who just like he he like you think me and you never want the party to stop he, he wants to drink because I think he's got a problem <laughs> so he'll just be like <laughs> Dude, you'll have, you guys would have four. Mm-hmm. You guys would have four together after a round. You'd be like, you need another? No, he needs another. And like, no, dude, I, no, no. And done. it's like, dude, he's, yeah. Dude, yeah, he keeps going. He keeps going. Yeah, see, I, I don't like that. I, I think no. having a couple of pops is fine, but yeah. the other thing is like, guys don't realize when you're, when you're in the sun all day, Dude, yeah. it's hitting you way harder than you think. By the yeah. end of the round, they're four or five drinks deep. They can't walk straight. No. Like, they're just, they're caked. No. And I'm like, yeah. dude, your lady's going to kill you when you get to the house. <laughs> it's over. Because you're going to uh, yeah. be like, you got shit-faced all day. Yeah, the, yeah, and the worst is when you're like a little buzzed. Well, you don't have kids, but when you're a little buzzed, and like, then you got like, you got to like. Got to go be get, a dad. Y- yeah, and like, you don't want to get them in the car. Mm-hmm. You're just like, yeah, no, hold on a sec, you know. Cool. <laughs> Let me blow in the... Dude, I got to talk to your mother. I'm like puking no, no, no. in the fucking... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got to be a dad now. Why is daddy sick all the time from golf? <laughs> golf makes daddy sick. Daddy golfs and then he feels ill. Oh, the big, my kids know too. They're like, dad, you golf in art, so it'll be five o'clock. Because, you know, because it's hard to not go get a sandwich afterwards. No, or- yeah. Going to have a drink afterwards, get something to eat. And also having a couple during is fine. I just am not a fan of when I play with guys and they're looking to get annihilated. Yeah. It makes me feel like they're weekend warrior guys where you're like, yeah. you've been saving up yeah. all week for this. Yeah. Spread it out. Ease it out. Just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Take it easy. You're, it's it's not. Also, there's guys I play with. I'm also like, you're 56. Yeah. You're blacking out. In here, we pour whiskey. whiskey. You got a cell phone, don't you? And you're paying a lot of money, and there's cell phone contracts, and they've got you're getting ripped off. You know you're getting ripped. They raise the prices out of nowhere. All these big wireless providers. I'm here to tell you about Mint Mobile because Mint Mobile, I got to tell you, they offer premium wireless starting at $15 a month. $15. All right. You paid more for your latte this morning. 
Uh, but Mint Mobile is great. They start at 15 bucks a month. And I was, I, I did say to, uh, I did say to our team, I was like, well, what's the catch? What's about it? You got to use like one of those. <laughs> you have to use a rotary dial phone. You have to use a, 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 a sidekick. Uh, no, you can use any phone. You can keep the phone you still got. There is none. Uh, their secret sauce is that, of course, they're the first company out there that does not have storefronts. Uh, so they're online only. So they pass those savings along to you. Anybody who hates their phone bill, Mint Mobile, it's got to be for you. They offer premium wireless for 15 bucks a month. The best part is give you the best rate, whether you're buying for one or a family. Their families start at two lines. And they got uh, unlimited talk and text and high-speed data delivered on the nation's 5G network. What else do you need to know? Switch. Save some money. Stop doling out money to these major companies. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile uh, plan and keep your same phone number along with your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile right now. Very easy. Get premium wireless starting at 15 bucks a month. That is so cheap. Get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free. Go to mintmobile.com slash whiskey. That's mintmobile.com slash whiskey. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash whiskey. Ginger. I like gingers. Yeah. You're 56, dude. You're four, how old are you? I'm 38. Okay. I'll be 39. So I hit my 40s. In a month. Here's the thing. It took me 40 years to learn how to eat and drink, like, the right way, like a gentleman. Sure. You know, you have a couple of these. Right. To, you know, when you're eating chicken parm and pasta, <laughs> right, and and you're halfway done, yeah. you're, you're full. Yeah, you're full. You're going to, you, but... You know, it's it you're was never gonna key, stop. It's, you're never gonna stop. Right. Until yeah. you fuck. You know. What's and your, I learned what, now to go to, to, to balance it out. Yeah. What's your fat guy food? What's your thing that you're like? I'll never stop eating, and I know it's bad for me. It's got to be pizza. Yeah. It's, me if, too. If, 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 if you, it, dude, that's my vice, man. If you don't like pizza, there one person told me they didn't like pizza, and I don't like them. I don't like people. <laughs> like I don't trust. I don't trust people. That don't. Pizza is in, is yeah. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Even bad pizza, you're like, it's fine. It's and it's simple. Yeah. The best things are simple. We were at a, I was at a restaurant last night in Beverly Hills and like the guy was talking the fish and it was like just simple, like lemon sauce, capers right. on this white fish. They don't you don't have to do too much. No. You know, you could put lipstick on a fucking pig when shit is good, dude. It's good. And pizza's fuck. Yeah, pizza's good. E I'm telling you, even shitty pizza. Sometimes you'll have a shitty piece of pizza somewhere. Like you know in New York, sometimes you'll have those bars that'll give you a, a little personal pizza with a yeah. beer or whatever. And even those you're like, it's okay. I fantasized about just going crazy at, at Pizza Hut one day. Just, just like that was your sticks, wet dream. just the fucking like the gross. <laughs> it, you know it's gross, so you know yeah. after a pie it's gonna be disgusting. Yeah. But just the there was something about like the dough and the, the dirtiness just, of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're a fat bad boy. <laughs> the, dirty. the dirty. You're a fat little a bad boy. <laughs> I'm a bad boy. Oh, pizza. Shit. You call pizza like I'm a fat little dirty boy. <laughs> What do you want? I'm coming for the breadsticks and the whole, yeah, I no. I want all of it. Oh, uh, yeah. No, you're right. I get it. Pizza's, trust me, pizza's one of my fat guy foods. It's one of my, one, like, one thing I'll that never I went give it up. One, one thing that I went away from, though, Andrew, can't, like, almost really repulsed by is McDonald's. Like, yeah, I'm, I was I, never I was a huge, I, 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 I fuck with their fries. Like, I like, you know the what I mean? Their fries are hard. Yeah, the fries yeah, are like, just I'll delicious. A, sometimes we'll get fries on the way for somewhere and we're like, you know, I need something and it's in the stomach. I'll stop and get fries. I was never like a, well, I never liked their burgers ever, ever. I thought they were shit. Yeah, yeah. But like, uh, there was nothing much to get. The only thing I will do on a road trip or like on a, you know, if we're out and about like uh, <laughs> airport hopping, I'll do breakfast. I'll get their breakfast. Yeah. I'll get a McDonald's. Uh, you get like a, like a, uh, bacon uh, the sausage and egg and cheese, bro. Yeah. And I'll put the hash brown in there. I'll fuck one of those up. Oh, you put the hash brown in? Woo! Yeah, yeah. Don't leave it out. Let him join the party. You get excited. You got the because I got the Sicilian gene now. Like where I, I really get excited for certain meals. Mm -hmm. You get excited. Holy shit! Oh, yeah. dude, my father makes noises, dude. My father, dude. My He's father. Like, oh. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my father went to go. <laughs> my father go. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. And I'm just <laughs> like he's pissing. Yeah. You know when an old guy pisses. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. Dude, that, that's funny. The other day, it's, it's one of those moments where you like you'll you, no matter how old you get. It's always going to make you laugh. Yeah. But I was in the bathroom and this older guy walked in, you know, he's kind of walking real slow, limping. <laughs> and then he open, he pushes the door open real hard and ba -da 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 off the thing. Yeah. Slams it closed and I hear him throw down his pants and he just, I mean, like slams on the seat. You know what I mean? And he gets down there and he just lets it fly. Just, he, and he goes, oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I couldn't help but laugh. I'm pissing oh. in the urinal. I'm cracking up. Oh. But he knows he's at an age where he's like, I don't care who knows. I'm fu I'm. I had to shit so bad at this bagel shop. Oh. I'm letting it fly. <laughs> he said yes. Oh yes, yes. It do, you have, do you have you shit on a plane or no? 
Oh yeah, you know what the problem is though? Like I'm tall and my legs are long, oh, so yeah. it's so hard. I've done it one time successfully. I've sat down two poop. I did it twice, two times. It's so ever. hard, and it's I'm just, only five eight, I'm but so it's still cramped, small, dude. Yeah, it's. I did it two times. To- if you have to, you have to. Sure. I do everything I can to not, right? Because it's just. And then the other thing is the worst is when you hear the. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I, was, I had to shit. Hold on. I had to shit so bad. I was in a. I was in a supermarket, dude. I was never first. You ever That's do that? Bad. I've never shit in a. Gro- I didn't even know grocery stores have bathrooms. <laughs> it was like it's like behind the butcher. <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, it would be. That's exactly so where it would I'm be. I'm at stop and shop, and I have to, and it's yeah. just it's it's to the point where it's like I can't get home. There's it, there's mm-hmm. one. I'm not shitting myself. I gotta go. So I go in there, dude, and I'm sitting there, and you know you see the cracks on the sides, mm-hmm. and a guy comes in. <laughs> I swear to God, a guy comes in. He goes, ooh. Oh God! And, and I'm going, and he's going, and I'm going. And I was trying to like not look, and he's going, oh! And it was only one dude. He put his eye in the. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I, and he put his eye in the thing, and he's looking up. And it was the, it was like a horror You're movie. Like, Come on, man, it was like it was like the creepiest thing. And then he's just going, and I, and then I go, oh man, I'm almost done. And he's just going, oh, dude, it was fucking horrible, man. Like I didn't get the wipe I wanted because I just I wanted. To, dude, he put his you eye in like a ho- go. like a horror movie, dude. By the way, that is such a funny. That that's like uh, that's yeah that, that's his hairs. Johnny, you know, he's, he's staring through the fucking crap. <laughs> That's the crap. first time ever that I've saw somebody in, like, have n- literally lose respect for what's going on because he had to go so bad. Yeah. Like, his eye, like, went up and down. He was right there, dude, and it I've was I've never nuts. had a gro- grocery store, never. I've never had an emergency at a grocery store. I've had a few at, like, restaurants and places where you're like, I can't, you know, my <laughs> my lady took me to Fogo to Chow one time, you know, the Brazilian steakhouse. Do you ever yes, been there? Yes. They don't stop yeah. giving you meat? No, yeah. So, it was it, it, it the, the card? Yeah. yeah. Where yeah. you're like, no more? Yeah. And so we were broke and we were young <laughs> and we had no money and she had saved up. So we're like, we're eating as much meat as we can. <laughs> I'm not kidding. In the middle of the meal, I had to go shit. My stomach was like, what the fuck are you doing? You can't, you can't have <laughs> lamb, veal, <laughs> chicken. You you can't have like nine (laughs) kinds of protein. I literally had to shit at the restaurant and that was one of the worst and I felt so bad. I was embarrassed. It was like my birthday. She took me out and I had to come back to the table and she's like, should we go home? Like, we should go home. (laughs) Dude, I had a buddy go to a Brazilian steakhouse like like 40 minutes before his set and he just had a full on meat sweat thing. He was just fucking, he was walking slow. My eyes started shaking. There was so much. When when you eat too much meat, I can feel it in my, my body's like, what are you doing? We're yeah, not yeah. saving up for the winner. Why no. did you eat so much yeah. fucking meat? <laughs> but yeah, I had that was that was one of the worst. I had to go in a public sphere. But you know what? Also, uh, fucking that is another thing. You reach another age. You, I don't. I couldn't care less about so many things. There's so many things I don't care about anymore. I'm not. I feel like you used to be embarrassed by a lot of stuff. Yeah. And now you're like, oh, who's gonna judge me at this point? I, it's fine. Whatever. You can know. I don't always need to be do. I don't need to always be doing the cool thing. I'm fine looking like a goof sometimes. Like, I'm yeah. okay with it. I just don't care anymore. I remember, dude, I I was a long time ago. I was young. It was like right out of high school or something. I dated a girl whose mother would purposely fart in public to embarrass her. Fuck off. I swear to God. <laughs> Dude, her mom dude, would be out with you her guys. Mom, just, her mom, her mom, her mom, nice, like ni- nice woman, like young, and like be online at Target and just fucking and and just make everybody blush. Just, just fucking put her light right up a butt trumpet up. Yeah, it was wild. good for her though. It was wild just dude. to embarrass her kid. Yeah, just to embarrass her daughter. That's a cool mom though. So, I mean, is it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I don't want it. That's your mom. I mean, that, yeah. Funny story. Don't want it to be my no, mom. No, that that would be brutal if that yeah, was no, your no, mom. No. no, no, thank you. Are your parents both still alive? Yes. Look at that good. Yes. Yeah, nice. Yes. That's uh, nice. And you got and they're good and you got a good thing with them. Like you see them all the time with the kids. Yeah, my, my dad is uh, you know, my dad is a different dude. He was like it was visitation. Courts in the eighties gave him like eight hours on Sunday with us and like dinner on Wednesday. Wow. And yeah, and, and like no it's like, like out of a movie. And back like then. no abuse, no cheating. Just like the courts were for the women. <clears throat> yeah. And it's just what it was. Were? It's, it's still yeah, it's still yeah. it still is, but then it was That's like chaos. Then they just looked at the mail, you piece of shit, go to your mother. Like it was really, yeah. really tough. Um, but no, I'm, I'm cool with both of them. Uh, my mom had stage four cancer and, uh, she was, she was in a test study for a hundred people, uh, Sloan Kettering. You know, I give my stepfather a lot of credit when my mom was in really bad shape with cancer. He was doing research in Sloan Kettering in Boston. I'm sorry. Sloan Kettering uh, is in New York city. Uh, Dana Farber, the Dana Farber Institute in Boston had a test drug for people with leukemia. My mom didn't have leukemia. She had a different one, but it was working on her type of cancer. So they did a test study of hundred people out of the hundred. It worked on 26 and then it started to come back. But out of the 26, it stayed good with 10. My mother was in the 10 Holy and now shit. it's 25, 27 years later. And my mother's still, it's still dormant. 
That's so amazing. she got to see, yeah, man. So, so the pills though beat her up, you know. Sure. The, the pill, like her immune system, right. she'll get sick. It she's drives a little you more down. Fr- yeah, it drives you down. But like, listen, man, she, my mother's in her seventies, still she, kicking she, she, hard. She, 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 in her seventies, gets to see, you know, got to see everything, got to see weddings, grandkids, and all that stuff. That's so, awesome, man. so yeah, so you know, there I get to see them all the time. My mother is is like closer geographically, but yeah, man, I, I talk to him all the time. My That's dad is good. just a different dude, man. My dad is just, you know, like he'll just. You know, he'll just start talking about politics. You know, he's just, he's so, <laughs> my father's just so unapologetically yeah. conservative, and right. like you know, nobody could talk bad about the country. You guys butt heads and all that stuff. At every, all or everybody's no? a communist, right? Every, Everyone is a communist. Everybody's yeah. a communist. My dad. He'll say, he'll watch this and think I'm a communist. He's got his, this this Geraldo Rivera fuck. You know, he's <laughs> communist fuck, and then and then all of a sudden he'll just talk about something. Anybody that says anything bad, right? Like, even if he was watching like Fox News, if somebody on Fox News agrees, he's he goes, a communist. He's turning. This he's fuck, turning. they got him. They're flipping they're, him. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're flipping. It's they all money. It's all, yeah, he's just like, <laughs> but but he's, no, no, we don't, I just, I, I'm i just so like, I see the craziness on the far right and the far left, sure, and I'm just like such nuts. a, yeah, yeah, I'm just like, you know, we're comics, so yeah. we make fun of everybody. Well, we see how stuff. dumb everybody is. We see how like, dumb everybody is. Everybody's chaotic. Why, why, why are you choosing sides like it's a fucking army? It's like the that's, weirdest thing to be like, that's, to be like emboldened by another group of chaotic people. You're like, you want to be a part, I would rather be on my own island of thought of where I think this seems reasonable, that seems unreasonable. I like to pick and choose. I don't know where this idea came from of only having two parties in this country and not to get too deep because- No, you're right though. It just gets so annoying. You're like, what the fuck? What am I? I'm just this this like solar, uh, this singular uh, uh, line of thought kind of person where like I couldn't even deviate just because. Yeah, you take sides like it's a team and anything the other way. God forbid you even see somebody else in the right. on the other side and agree with them. And that's that's what it's become, dude. I I can't I said this thing the other day where I was like, dude, when Trump says he's gonna run again, because I love I don't get political, so I love watching adults act like children. Uh-huh. Dude, I'm gonna I'm not joking, dude. It in when he says he's gonna run because he's gonna say he's gonna run in twenty four. He'll never I'm, run I'm again. Get, you don't think? I don't think so. I I heard different, dude. <laughs> I know, but I just feel like there's no chance. For some reason, there's something inside of me that's like, this is him just talking shit, calling his, you know, I'm calling trying people to, uh, out. Yeah, I'm trying to see that too, but if he does. If he does. I'm getting two hot dogs and a Diet Coke, and mm-hmm. I'm going to go to Central Park, and I'm going to watch adults drop to their knees and scream at the sky, <laughs> and it's going to be everything I fuck it, because that's what will happen in New York. Yeah, it goes you chaos. Know, oh, dude. Ca- I mean, what in about New York, here? Look at here. Here's, yeah, yeah, here in New York, it's like- It's nuts. I, the weirdest thing about Trump is, though, I get somebody not liking him and saying he's a narcissistic asshole and I would never vote for that dickhead, Yeah, but the- the visceral fucking hate that it's what he what he does to people. Yeah, I haven't seen. Have you? Not in my I, life. I've never no. seen. I could listen. We've seen. I'm sure you and I have both seen politicians you don't like. Sure. Like, man, fuck that guy. I'm never voting for that guy. guy. I would. Let's take it this far. Guy's a piece of shit. Fuck that guy. That guy's a selfish piece. Okay. What he brings out of people, I've never, yeah. I've never seen anything. It's, well, it tears apart what the wildest shit was. I know people that didn't talk to friends or family ever dude, again. People going, I, people going, I can't believe, I mean, I can't believe I don't have a relationship with my mother anymore. I'm going, that's nuts. You're going your mother? Yeah, it's your mom. It's your fucking mother. I that 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 throws me. That's a I, new what generation is that? thing. What do you think? What I think, was I think that? it's just because that's that's uh, because. You know, I don't know. I because think he's not a politician, and because he's not- it's so polarizing how how un how unapologetic he is that they can't believe that yeah. someone that they were supposed to look up to or trust as these political figures would be so brazen, dude. That guy's fucking. He doesn't give a shit. I've never seen anything like he it. He doesn't get. So that's what I mean. It was so different than anything anybody's ever seen. Yes. So yes. And by the way, in twenty years. We'll laugh at how tame Trump is because whoever's coming in the next 20, 30 years will be, do you know what I'm saying? Like, do you think, every, I think every decade we'll, yeah. we will be polarized by the next chaotic creature that we elect in these bullshit things. Do you think it's going to turn into a celebrity? Do you think The Rock 100% is going to run? 100% it's going to be a celebrity match. Yes. Yeah. It, will, uh, well, well, it already has been yeah. in a secret way, right? Like, first of all, f- fucking some of our presidents were social celebrities or socialites prior to, I mean, Reagan was a fucking actor. Yeah, he was. Who was a socialite, dude. The guy was like a social yeah. political figure and it's already happened. It's already happened yeah. with uh, Schwarzenegger out here. Like this is, but now on a level of they didn't need, now they don't need to be actors and actresses and and in, they don't need to be famous on Instagram. Now they can be other kind of famous personalities and they can grow that brand in a political world. You know what I mean? Like they could be a political comedian like, right. if John Stewart wanted, he could run and yeah. get real far, real fucking far. 
I think if John Stewart ran on the Democratic ticket, it's going. F- I think he's going far. He's going far. I think. I think Johnny. He's going far. Johnny Stewart. You see what I mean? Like he built up yeah. something else, and he could use. But he's that. also very reasonable. He's also like he's a, a super intelligent he's, guy. He's a super intelligent guy. I think what he did to help the people nine eleven, like that's gonna that would people go wow, this guy gives a fuck about people that he's not fuck. even related to yeah. because he's so disgusted with how they were treated. That that's gonna take him far. Yeah. He's just, dude, I think it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a, um, a famous person race again. It's always been a famous person race again, but now it'll be like, it will be, it'll be the rock versus Kevin Hart. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be fucking. I want to see yeah. Will, Will Smith, Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> dude, everybody, somebody asked me that today. Some one of the, one of a buddy was like, he's like, oh, I was a comedian. You know, he's like, what do you, like, how do you feel about that? I'm like, wait till you see their sex tape when, you know, when the Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's closer than you think. He's like, what? Are you serious? I was like, oh, yeah. Well, Will Smith, like, you know, he made a big statement. And I now, they're saying now they're saying that his career is going to come back. Of course it is. Of course yeah, he's going to. Yeah, what? They weren't going to fucking stop. That guy's a money machine. Dude, they don't, they, they only cut off the source of finances for a short period of time. But so many people are eating off of his plate. When you're making other people millions and millions of dollars, they're going to let you come back to work. Dude, Mel Gibson. Yeah. I, I can't remember. You know, dude, like he, that, yeah, that, that he came back from that. Come on, he's got like twenty movies in production. The guy, it's like he didn't skip a beat. I mean, you know. Although I did read an article today about uh, Kevin Spacey, man, and they keep fucking unearthing that guy. They're going to keep burying him to the end of time. I mean, he's he's not coming back. Never, never in a no. million years, man. He's not. Coming they just had some other guy who was a PA on House of Cards. I think he. I think the judge made him pay thirty-two million dollars in restitution. Thirty-two million. Wow. Yeah. No, but I think he's, he's a uh, dunzo dunzo. It's, it's yeah. But I mean, you know, but, but dude, America loves, America loves a comeback. Cause so that's why I think that Will Smith <laughs> loves, loves a comeback. comeback. <laughs> we love a comeback, dude. Look at fucking, dude. Look yeah. At, but a pedophile comeback's tough. No, no, but, but, but uh, no, no. Yes. No, I'm saying with Will Smith. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> oh, yeah. Kevin Spacey can fuck off. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, but with Will Smith, it's like America loves that kind of comeback. Imagine Spacey came out. You guys want a comeback, right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on, dude. How's the card season eight? Dude, one yeah. time. I one fucked time. up one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. They were like, really? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking a Rolodex. No, but with Will Smith, it's like his his crimes of, are so minimal. America loves that shit. You know, dude, fucking, uh, 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 I used to talk about it on stage. Uh, Robert Downey Jr., Yeah. dude, that guy, he was caught with like a hooker and he had physically abused in a, in a motel. And the cops were like, you know, he had he had been bl- bl- blunt about what happened. He's like, she pushed me, I pushed her back. Yeah. Dude, that guy's Iron Man. He's Disney. Yeah. So get the fucking, we fucking, they love that shit. They there, love a turnaround. There is a, and, and I think a turnaround, I think a big thing was Johnny Depp as far as a turnaround, dude, because Johnny- That shit was wild. Dude, Johnny Depp like made women. That was the first time I actually, I mean, I think it was because she was so blatantly fucked up, but like that was the first time I saw women going, fuck her. Yeah, it was wild. Fuck her. Yeah. And like all over the country, like good for him. I'm happy for him. And and what I respect about him is he was like, look, I'm a lot of things and I'm going to probably let people know now that I'm a, I did coke and that I drink a lot and that I'm a little fucked up, but I'm going to let all that air out because what you're doing is wrong and not right. And I'm yeah. not having my kids think I did that. That was fucking balls. It was, well, it, 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 what, need, what, what really showed me, truthfully, the, the best viewpoint that I had, I was like, these people are fucking crazy. Both of these people yeah. are crazy, toxic, yeah. insane humans. Like, there's no relationship you've ever been a part of where it got no. that absurd. Yeah. The moment it got even a, a glitch of that, yeah. you'd be like, I'm leaving. This is nuts. This, yeah, what like, the fuck? They were like, uh, what is that called? They were enabling one another to be more fucked up. He had to have seen early, early signs. Yeah, dude. But you know what made me think, like, really know she was crazy? It was after all this when she said that Edward Scissorhands thing. Do you see yeah, that? She, yeah, she was like, she goes, oh, you mean, you mean the guy who's, like, the lawyer of the guy who convinced the world he had scissors for hands and, like, actually said it. I was like, oh, my God, this <laughs> saw is that out of her fucking mind. Yeah, it was wild. And she said that with, like, with, like real, er- like, she was, like, Genuine. earnest. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, dude, I was just like, oh, he was with that? Side note, that's such a banger movie. It's nuts. Like I, I rewatched Edward Scissorhands. I gotta watch that again. It's so good. Is it's, it, it's, dude? Tim Burton made so many fucking bangers back in the day. Yeah, that dude made. He was a hit machine. They had a, a museum uh, here called LACMA, and they had a Tim Burton exhibition there, exhibit or whatever. And I, we went thinking like, yeah, I know some of them. He, every movie I loved. I was like, this is all Burton. I mean, Batman 1, one fucking probably my favorite Batman. I know people are fucking like, oh, Dark Knight. I think Batman the original was so fucking good. Was so good with Michael wait, Keaton. Wait, wait, oh, Michael Keaton and, and yeah, and that Jack was Tim Nicholson. Burton did that. Oh, that's good. Tim, Tim was that did Tim Burton? that. Yeah, it was fucking Tim Burton. Do you mind if I could just get a little splash? Come on, dude, just a little splash. Say no more, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. This is like, this is arguably one of the fucking greatest. Th- this thing is. Yeah, it's a little special sauce. Yeah, I'm hiding it. Nobody can see what it is, because it's not for you guys. It's for us. It's a little. 
I told him what it was. Um, but it's a special, See, it's a what special it is? barrel. You want to know, though, Connor, to interrupt? It's like you're a Sicilian. That's perfect. You're a Sicilian kid, you know? You got class. A little bit of class. It's in there. No, but it's in there by birth. You had no control of it because you got Sicilian. Right, Right, that's right. I mean, there's definitely criminal in there. Yes. I mean, you're, you. But a classy criminal. Me and you. We don't hurt anybody, but we're going to take stuff. Me and you hanging out a couple of drinks and we're down on our luck. We're like comedy and podcasts go down. We're robbing. We're taking something down. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to rob We we would talk something. But I wouldn't hurt anybody while I was doing it. That's the thing is I would have like the decency thing. I'd be like, no one gets hurt. The nice guy robber. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> we're gonna go in and we're gonna take fucking nobody touch anybody. Nobody touch anybody. <laughs> Mike, those are women and children. What are you what are you doing? Paul, help him out. Come on. Fuck, what are you doing? Those are women. <laughs> Ladies, I apologize. We do need your fucking jewelry, You'd though. You'd be so nice. You'd stop in the middle. Guy, we fucked up. I, I'm so we didn't think this through. Everybody go back to Let's your- go. Let's go back to one. <laughs> we start this robbery over again. Like I'm doing a take on a robbery. <laughs> we we talked about that. We talked about that on uh, the podcast. I talked about yeah. how like um, how I said, like, we were talking about how, how people rob, like, robbing banks is a thing of the past. You know, it's like, yeah. robbing a bank these days, like, good luck, you're fucked. Always There's 90 fan- different oh, security always measures now. Oh, see, me too. We, that's what we said. Oh, yeah? Dude, I was like, Are you I was serious? Like, oh, I would love to rob a bank. But I, but I said that. I said, no. I really don't want someone to get hurt. And yeah. I was like, you can't communicate that because when you're like, nobody gets hurt, somebody's like, he's going to hurt us. They automatically yeah. assume you're going to do something bad, but you're like, no, I just want to steal from a corporate machine. I just want to yeah. thieve the big dogs. No, I don't want to fuck anybody in the bank. Nothing gave me, nothing gave me more pleasure and excitement than when Val Kilmer was coming out with the hockey bag and heat, mm-hmm. and he's walking and heat. he smiles. Whew. Here's a beautiful thing about heat: when he's walking out with the hockey bag uh-huh. and he's smiling, and then in one drop, in, his eyes go up and he sees the cop, and it went from a smile to bag down machine yeah, gun. Man. Dude, I just got the chills. Michael Mann, dude. What's your fa- favorite bank robbery movie of all time? Oh, it's almost impossible. I mean, my first thing that came to my mind in this may be just the whiskey, but I, I think Dog Day Afternoon is one of the best films of all time. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's I mean, no, dude. But, but it is a, it's based around a bank robbery, which is one of the craziest bank, shitty bank robberies. Right, because they're in there like talking and well, it gets it, it like, turns it's, into, it like, turns a into a fucking, shit show. It, but it turns into like, if anybody's not seen Dog Day Afternoon, <clears throat> it's yeah. one of the greatest movies of all time. But it turns into like a twisted love story. You're like, oh, this is a bank robbery movie. That's yeah. why I think it's the most intricate. But I think maybe like, uh, ooh, this is this is really tough. What I think, mm. I, I, you know, he, for me, he just grabbed, I think I I don't know if this is per- specifically bank robbery, but the town was fucking phenomenal. Dude, the my, town was layers, brother, the, brother, layer, brother. The my town next was one, layers brother. Of, my next one was the town. The town. The thing about the thing about Heat for me was having De Niro and Pacino in the diner, yeah, two for one. And man. he just goes, he goes, you know, he goes, I like you, you know. He goes, but if I, if brother, you're going down. You're and then he goes, down. when he goes, and De Niro goes, there's a flip side to that coin. Yeah, dude. You remember that? He's yeah. like, there's a flip side because because if I'm coming down, I won't hesitate. That was just. Having those two legends in there, yeah. and the way Michael Mann showed L.A. He's the man, dude. Like, like when I this come to L.A. Movie. and I drive up there and I see it, I remember that scene where De Niro is with the woman that he was with overlooking L.A. at yes. night like yes. that. And you see the you see all the helicopters and the planes. Oh, dude, I'm getting the chills, dude. Yeah, I know. I want to rob a fucking bank. Let's go <laughs> rob a fucking bank. I'll rob a fucking Give me two more of these. I'll rob a fucking bank. Change your flight. Let's rob a bank how's, tonight. Yeah, Paul, how was the show last night? No, he's in jail. His career is <laughs> over. He went on Santino's podcast. He fucking I got to call Bernalino. Robbed- I'm like, dude, we got to get some money dude, together to we, bail out Verzi. We, we, we rob a place where there's no cash in it, though. <laughs> right, right. Right. Like they were like, why did he go there? there was, it's empty. They're like, what did, what did guys? There's like a thousand dollars here. You're like, well, we'll take it because we need it. We talked about it. No, we- <laughs> Michael Mann. I gotta tell you, the Michael Mann. The town fucking the town. I gotta tell you something. The town- lights, lights out. Such a good fucking movie. Here's my problem. What? Ben Affleck and I. Ben Affleck and I have an issue. You guys have beef. No, well, he doesn't know. Wait, wait. I need to know. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna look this up real fast to make sure that this is because I'm not supposed. To, I can talk about it. Okay, good. Okay. I'll tell you real note quick on the Bennett before Ben Affleck. Yeah. A good friend of mine. Uh, just told me that Michael Mann is doing something that he's a part of. Whoa! He's produce he's producing uh, and I think direct and shooting uh, the Enzo Ferrari story. Ferrari. Nice. Speaking of Italiano, I, and I think Adam Driver is playing Ferrari. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but okay. whatever. But he told me he's going to do it, and he was like, "Hey, I think I can get us set up for 
uh, F1. It's in Austin this year around my birthday. And he's yeah. like, I think I can get you in the Ferrari paddocks. And I was like, ooh. Adam Driver looks like a guy that was like a caddy that just fucking they loved. And they were like, dude, <laughs> you want to do movies? The course, yeah. yeah, like he's, he's like, like, but he's, he's actually. He's really talented. He's, he's great dude in everything. Dude, he's very talented. Dude, he's, he's awesome. But he he looks like a regular dude. And I don't know if he's Italian, but he has the schnoz of an Italian. So he's yes. got the, Fer he can play Enzo Ferrari. Yeah, yeah. He right, give me your Ben Affleck beef. Okay, so here's the Ben Affleck. Listen up, Affleck. Here, here's, here's the thing with, with <laughs> Affleck. So and and I, and I and I know it. I know I'm right. I know it happened. So I'm in I'm yeah. in uh, I'm in the city and I'm at a club. I'm at a comedy club and I got I got a Yankee hat on and I'm not really dressed apart. And I get a I get a text message from um, Burr and Burr said, "Hey man, I just hit up DeRosa and I'm hitting you up." He goes, "We're at an after party, the movie The Heat with Melissa McCarthy. There's gonna be an after after party. Why don't you come through?" And I go, "Dude, I'm not dressed right. I got I, go, I got a Yankee hat, a sweatshirt. He goes, Doesn't matter. He goes, you know, he's like uh, the director is gonna be there and everyone's gonna be there. Why don't you come out hang out, right?" So I, I get there mm -hmm. and we're hanging out. And uh, dude, this this is fucking. I'm standing there. I'm having a good time. I'm talking to the producers of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. They're great. Like, oh, dude, a fan loves stand up. Blah blah blah. They, they knew me, and it was really cool. Having a good time. And and I see Ben Affleck was sitting over there with some people. And this is right when it was announced, like week it was announced that he was the new Batman. Mm. And dude, this dude walks up to me and just boom like that. Hard, shoulder check. Hard, you. hard in the shoulder. And I go what? like this. And I go whoa. And like every and and he just and he he did it and just kept walking straight. Now. I said, I said, I go, okay, all right, you know, I go, I know what he did. I go, it's because I, you know, it's because I have a Yankee hat on. He don't like the Yankees, you know, he, mm. he don't like the Yankees. Mm -hmm. So people are like, are you out of your fucking, are you out of your, I go, dude, I had a Yankee hat on. I'm standing there. I look New York. Look at me. Yeah. Look at me. You do. You know, yeah. You do. I look like, yeah, I fucking, I look if like If somebody goes, a, draw a New York as a guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, so he bumps you like that. Come to find out later on, somebody said Ben Affleck was on set of a movie. Shut it down, fucking started screaming. There was a Yankee hat in the background. He goes, get that fucking thing the fuck out. I go, I told you, mother. I fucking told <laughs> you. I knew. Guy's anti-Yankee, man. He, and, and I think when I saw him there, I think this was at the time where he was might might have been Sauced losing. up? Yeah, because this is before he got, I think he's clean now, right? Is he clean no now? No idea. I don't know. But I know back then it was kind of when he he did that, dude. And he did it because I had the hat. And then I started finding out. And then I read something like, he's he's like, yeah, dude. Lows the Yankees. Yeah. And I couldn't. I wanted to watch a basketball movie, maybe I couldn't. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. Al's in that fucking movie. Al's in it. I couldn't watch yeah, it. Yeah, I, I said it. I'm not watching it till an apology. What so can I'll bring you back? Yeah, he has to apologize. If, I, I, if, if he ever either here's the deal, Affleck. It, it, if you apologize to my boy, but, yeah. he'll start watching your shit ben, again. Ben, watch <laughs> Nocturnal Admissions. Tell me it wasn't. Go you know, I think you'll like it. And then we have a laugh. Yeah. And they go, dude. And then, you know what I would love if he goes, dude. I, I was probably drunk. I saw the Yankee hat. My bad. Yeah. Then I'm. Then I'm. Then I'll get his whole catalog. Most I'll, respect. Oh, then I'll, I'll watch respect. everything. Yeah. Because the town brought me back. Town's so good, man. The town is good, and that was all him. You can watch that. You can can you watch that now because that was pre the bump? <laughs> yes. Yeah, pre bump. Pre bump, I can. Pre bump films you can do. It's like I could kind of listen to like pre Michael Jackson, like before the. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like was Thriller before yes. the kids? Yeah, I think it was. No, I think it was all around the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I think it never stopped or okay. started. I think yeah. it was just kind of going on. Yeah, I could listen to Jackson Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back. Go way back. Yeah. Go way, way back. Go back when Joe yeah, was in. When a kid had a nose, I could watch it. <laughs> Yeah, dude, uh, I get, but I get that. I get, I, I know what you're it's, saying. It's hard. You, you know what? Because sometimes you see things that other people don't see and you go, you know that, you know that. and someone goes, you're overreacting. And you're like, no, no, no. no it's, it's a vibe that I felt that you yeah. guys were, because everyone's doing this. They're, uh, da, 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 and they look, took, look at you and they go, what do you mean? And, and when like, a man hits you, there. they know and you know. Dude, when a man bumps you, come on. You grew up a certain way. A yes. man bumps you, you know. Let because otherwise you. he would turn and go, oh, sorry about that, man. Right. Or, or even he'd go like this and go, oh, like this. Yeah. You don't even need to say sorry. You need to go uh, like this. Like, bad, just yeah. give me a little, like, oh. Or like a little, know. like, my bad. You know, yeah. something like that. Shit, sorry. And then give me right. an indication we both know what happened. Yeah. And no, we he, move on. He, he did the thing and then and then almost not even just a straight walk, like a, like a, Ooh. I knew. Yeah, I knew. Yeah, I fucking I, I, I knew. Did now, he knew that the movie was going to be terrible, that Batman was going to be awful? Is that why you think? I saw him alone afterwards by the elevator. Like on his phone, and I, I, I you know, what, what am I gonna do? Fucking start wrestling with Ben Affleck. Amazing but, though, if you did. I, I should have been like, listen, it's Christian Bale, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> you know the truth. D you grew up with, think of somebody you grew up around uh -huh. th that you just didn't like in high school. You and him had an issue, right? Uh -huh. Do you have the name? Yeah. Of you course. have the name, right?
name, right? Yeah, I see it. You never, your wife says, I want to name our kid that. It's never uh, 100%, happening. 100 no. It, it can't happen. Never in a million And even years. if it's a beautiful name with Santino. Doesn't matter. Like, even if it goes like this, Santino's beautiful. Doesn't it's like, matter. I can't do it. Yeah. You can't do it because yeah, that no. kid was such a fuck. That kid Dickhead. did something to you so much that you can't look at the love of your life and associate. It embedded in your, in your, in your, uh, no in matter. Like the scripts in your mind that you're like, this will be that kind of person. Also, anybody I meet that has those same names, you go, fuck this guy. Someone's like, no, he's a good guy. You're like, right. no, I don't think so. Right, like if the kid's name, I'm just saying, was Anthony, and you named your kid Anthony, like he's up at the plate. You're like, you're right. come on, Anthony. And all of a sudden it goes to that. Like, no, yeah, you know, yeah. you can't loop it. Can't, you can't. have a name. Do you know someone that has this name that logs in your head? There's yes. a guy from your childhood. Yeah, there's like, a guy from I mean, I wouldn't say like, it's not like deep, deep hate, but I just, just because of the dude, I, yeah. I just couldn't name him. I, right. I just could you can't. No, it's so, that's so interesting. Why we, because also, like we found out one of my friends, or my friends they're having a baby. And uh, last night we went to dinner with them, and then she was like, you know, yeah, you're not. I know you're not supposed to ask the the if it's a boy or a girl or whatever right, the right. fuck nowadays. I don't, dude. There's all these rules. You know, you're not supposed to ask the name, right? Uh, apparently, my wife was like, you don't do that. Women don't. Yeah. Like, I was like, who cares? They can just yeah. say we're not telling him, and I would go fine. Yeah. I'd move on. But they are they're cool as shit. And I said, do you, do you want to share that? And she goes, yeah. And she shared the name. But there's always a moment when you go. I have to make sure I always react positively because if it's a name that I think you is don't shit, like. right. I got to turn on my acting skills right. and go, that's great. Right. Because you can't go, oh, oh. <laughs> what are you going to name? We're thinking Pinocchio. Oof. You're like, oh, no. <laughs> now, yes. Oh, no way. <laughs> you can't, that's yeah. such a good name. I, yeah. <laughs> no, you have, to, you have to learn how to flip the switch. And of course, their, their daughter's name is beautiful. And I was like, oh, it's such a good fucking name. But I did have a moment where I'm like, I realize you're like, oh, yeah. you have to, you have to turn on the. That's great. You have to. No matter what, you have to. Because if you if they, if you go, oh, okay, oh, yeah, it'll stick with them. Oh yeah, the like little your, things. Relationship will, with the wife's, yeah, it's yeah. over. We're fucked. What about this sweetheart girl in high school? Mm -hmm. The opposite of the bully, sweetheart, but just sucked everyone's dick. She's just a whore, <laughs> and that, and your wife loves the name. It's like you can't. How yeah. do you tell the wife? You're like, listen. You're like, listen to this she chick. She blew was the whole she, squad. I. I, I you can't sweetheart of a girl Don't yeah I mean, you just can't name her Michaela that's gonna fucking come back to us somehow baby <laughs> I'm picking that out of the air no but it is true that, it, that for some reason high school names more than anything stuck out to me as people right, because, I associate with because now. that because that's what stuck with you when you were probably at your most insecure or you were at just your the, most like you're most growing formative up formative years right yeah. like you're growing up like you're developing yeah. and then this person is giving you shit mm -hmm. and then the love of your life it has to be completely disassociated well yeah because they were like there was some I was a dickhead in the neighborhood who was like a bully to the younger kids at the bus stop. And I fucking hated this guy. I fucking, yeah. he was such a fucking dickhead. And he kind of, he would rarely say shit to me. Just because people are kind of always scared of redheads because they think we might be murderers. They're like, this guy's nuts. Like, you yeah. always kind of see a redheaded guy and you're yeah. like, he might be a psychopath. Like, he might be a f straight cold killer. And you look at Burr. He's a murderer. Uh, he's absolutely <laughs> a killer. There's no doubt in my mind he's sl he slit he throats. You know what's funny? I don't remember Bill's hair ever red. Cause it was always like, really? not like, not, not like, now do you have siblings? Yes. But Red hair? No, fuck no. No, I'm the only, I'm the only fuck up. So wait, your siblings are dark hair? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm the only one of one from my mom and dad. My mom, I have remarried. Half, I have Me half. Me too. Yeah, I have half. My mom re, my mom remarried. I have a brother and sister. Right. right okay. I have half. So oh. from my lineage, no, but like from my mom's. Family of all the cousins, there might be two of the girls had kind of red-ish hair. Uh, one, one or two of the boys have red-ish. You know what I mean, like Auburn. Right. Where, but I'm the only one that's got the fucking. Your mom, no red. Teenage hair? mutant. No, dude, my mom, no chance. No, no. Irish them. black hair. All of them have dark hair. All of them. Oh, all of them. Okay. All of them. All of them. All of them. Well, most of the people you meet in Ireland are blue-eyed, dark-haired people. They're right. pale skin. I look more British or Scottish. You know, you. The, I look more like those guys. When you go to Ireland, man, all I see is fucking. Uh, uh, blue Black eyes, hair. And blue eyes, and dark hair. Oh, okay. Although there was a higher concentration of, uh, shout out to all my gingers in Ireland. I did see a lot more redheads, and I felt more, a little bit more at home. It was yeah. nice to see some more. That's the motherland of, of of the red hair. They're right? running around there yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Is yeah. it Scottish too? It's Scottish too, right? I think it's more of a dominant Scottish and English trait than it is Irish. Oh, okay. I think there's more redheads in there than there is over on the island. But we had to fl we fled Potato Island because you know we had to get out of there. You had to get out. Yeah. Right. Eight, yeah. 18, 18, four, 1847. We had, can you believe that? A million fucking people left because we couldn't grow food anymore. A million. Wow. They averaged a million yeah. fucking people. That's how bad we need to work. And then we all became your local firefighters. So be nice to the- Is your mom from like the Dublin side of the island? Uh, of they're, they're, from, uh, they're from what's called County Cork. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I heard of that. Yeah, yeah. That's, where my, that's where both of my grandparents- Have you been? Yeah. 
Yeah. Nice. Dude, I went all over that fucking place. I, 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 in Ireland, you can get around. If you spend a couple of days, you can do the whole fucking island. Easy money. I'm actually performing for the first, going to the first time and performing the first time in London. Oh, you were in October you going? because my Giants are playing the Packers in London. Oh, so dude, I, I always wanted to go to a fucking football game overseas. So I hit up my agent and I go, dude, I go, the G men are playing the Packers October 9th. I go, mm-hmm. and he goes, oh, that's Sunday? I go, yeah. I go, so I'm doing uh, 21 Soho on the, fu- on the Friday. Nice. And then I'm going with my family. And then we're going to go to France for like four days. Dude, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah dude. Why, By the why way, not? watching an American football game over there, I've heard, is so fun because. They get wild. They, like, yeah, because they never get to see it. They yeah. never get them. Li- they get them once a year there. What's the other? Sometimes they play Mexico City or something. Where was he? They did the Mexico City once with the, with the Raiders. And yeah. I, I don't know how that went. <laughs> I, I, like, by the way this sounds like a meeting at a corporate NFL level and they're like how was it like, we don't know how it went <laughs> yeah like what if we want to talk about it I, I'll tell you though uh, yesterday morning was it yesterday morning yesterday yesterday morning I did Rich Rich Eisen, Eisen? yeah dude he's the man the fucking love him the best yeah I've golfed with him he's the fucking man he's, he's a, he, dude he's a good golfer dude he uh, he did stand up for three years did you know that Mm-mm. yeah somebody goes no Rich Eisen did stand up so I go in there yesterday he couldn't have been nicer to me we had such a great he's time he's the fucking man and I go I heard you did stand up and he goes yeah he goes I actually he goes yeah three years like out of college or something like that he was yeah. and he's like dude he goes I loved it but couldn't have been cooler couldn't have been nicer uh, just talking t- talking stories then I go hey man I'm gonna take my family to the line and he goes, oh, he goes I might call that game but what a, how great is that guy? <sighs> might call the game. How cool is that? No, he's the fucking man. And you can tell he might have been a stand-up or in the in our field a little bit because he's quick. He's so fucking fast. Dude, he did his brain a, works real fast. He did he did a callback and I couldn't believe it. And just and it's a simple callback. But I I, I said the story on his show. But I got to tell you, I'll tell you real quick. I, yeah. I, Strayhand is it's so funny. I've, I've been doing so many fucking podcasts. But when I enjoy, it, I'm like fuck. I'm gonna just tell the story. Tell it, yeah. Michael Strayhand's at the stand, like right next to me, and I'm having a, I'm having a good time. And he and we're outside. And uh, somebody goes, yeah, don't ask Strahan for anything. I'm a Giants fan. He goes, don't ask Strahan mm-hmm. for anything. He, he was here, but he, Strahan wanted, actually, I've never told this part of the story, really. Strahan wanted a friend of his to get stage time at the stand. No way. So he goes, I'm going to come in, come with my friend, I'm gonna, you put my friend on stage, I'm going to sit in the crowd and watch. But then he stayed for comics. Did you so, know the guy that he put on or no? You never heard of the guy? I, nev- I never heard of the guy. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I never heard of the guy that he put on. Guy goes up, whatever, you know, it just seemed fine. And then they were like, you know, Paul, you going up? And he's he's there. So I go up, having a good, I'm having a good set. I remember hearing him. Remember, I I, I shit, I don't like Brooklyn at all. So I shit <laughs> on it hard. And he laughed hard. I just fucking shit on it. I made Eisen laugh really hard about Brooklyn. He goes, well, you know, but, you know, because, I, yeah, I'm a Knicks fan, diehard Knicks fan. You know, it's New York. And he goes, well, you got the, the Nets. And I go, it's not New York. It's not yeah, New York. Yeah, no, that's like, their jersey. It's, it's all, yeah. It's so, New Jersey. So, uh, go, don't ask Michael Strahan for any pictures outside. He came to see his friend, let him leave, you know. It's the, it was the day the woman showed up to his fucking hotel door. His no. Ex-wife. That day. Holy shit. That day, and he fucking went out to go probably get some laughs, you know. And uh, he comes out, and he just walks right up to me. Dude! Like that. And I go, hey, man, thank you. Huge Giants fan, everything. So, uh, you know, I, we were talking, we're having a nice time. I go, dude, you might be, yeah, dude, let's take a picture. It was, like, completely <sighs> fine. Dude, I said the dumbest fuck. As I put my arm around him and we take a picture, and like it was like right before the snap, I just go, <laughs> I just go, oh, dude, 07 changed my life. What? <laughs> what? I got kids. 07. I'm a grown. Andrew, I'm a grown man. Changed my life. 07 changed my life. changed my life. But I like whispered it. Dude, it was fucking. It and was, he was like, that is so sad. Right. And, and <laughs> so I tell I tell that story on Eisen the other day. And uh, here's a cool news story. We're done. Me and Rich had a great time. He's like, Paul, so great. We're talking about going to London. It was just the greatest thing. And he's like, guys, dude, you know, we need a picture. And he puts his arm around me. And he goes, that appearance just changed my life. Oh, that's and so dude, good. it was so fucking so great. Good. And I was like, the way he remembered it and the yeah. way he did it. And it let me know. I was like, oh, this is another dude. This isn't just a dude that does that job. And I said to him, you know, it's always in me to like really tell somebody like what they did. If I really admire it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, my dad would do that. My dad would go, let me, take, no, let me tell you something about you. You're a fucking good. The, the way, like, when, yeah, you, when right. you pour it down, I go, you know, Andrew, you got, let me tell, I go to, I go, tell you no, something. No, I, go, I go to podcasts. Nobody fucking pours that. You got fucking class. Like, we let have to do it. Something. So I said to Eisen, I go, I go, like he didn't know. I go, you started this. Yeah. You fucking started the NFL Network. And then, and I, then I started, like, insulting people. I go, everybody else just does your job. You fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll stop talking. You're just taking shots yeah, at guys. All, yeah, 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 I like yeah it. all I the like sports it. dummies do that. But like, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking started an empire. Yeah. But, uh, no, he was, it, we had a we had a really, like, I, I could, like, the way he just shook your hand and looked you in the eyes. Yeah. You're like, oh, this guy, this guy. Is, is fucking great, man. He's a great Good dude. golfer? 
He's good. Yeah, he's fun to play with. He, I, though I never get to play with him because he's always working. This guy's a, he's a workaholic. I mean, he's like his schedule's insane. Yeah, yeah. But, but when he does get, when I do get to play with him, he's he's a fucking great dude. Great dude and a great golfer. Shout out Rich Eisen. Let's stop complimenting him. He stinks. He stinks. Yeah. <laughs> we give him so much love. No, he's the fucking, he is the fucking man. It's, isn't it funny how comics just can't give love? It's just. Nah, at some degree we're like, yeah, but also, you know, go, uh, go fuck yourself, Rich. You know, yeah, I yeah. do love him so much. He's always been such a nice, uh, sweet dude to me. And I met him a few times through other different connections and then met him again golfing, which is it's just so wild how we wrap around. But, yeah. um, but I want to say this. Uh, I know you're exhausted from a long day. I appreciate you coming on the show a lot. Dude, this means a lot because I know you're, you. you're a busy man. And also, uh, here's my deal. I'm doing the same thing you did. I'm doing a special with Netflix. So hopefully, yeah. And I don't know when it's coming out. I'm shooting it in a month. Okay. What is it now? Yeah. Um, but this is the new way, the thing that we're doing, you know, the way that we're doing it is kind of like, we'll put it out. We'll talk about it. We're going to push it around. We'll yeah. make the most waves without going through all of these like, Super traditional channels. Yeah. That's why I think if you're listening to the show right now and you're a big fan of comedy, you have to go watch a special on Netflix because well, please you. keep supporting it because this helps us continue to do things like this and be yeah. more comedically free and not have to uh, suck the chains of Mickey Mouse anymore. You and, know what I mean? We're trying. And, 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 uh, and Netflix was really great like with the editing. But yeah, it's called Nocturnal Admissions. It's, it's doing fantastic. I really appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, like, uh, Dude. Can I plug a couple days? Fans got to do it. Yeah, please. Plug, plug, plug. This comes out... Uh, this comes out a week from, this comes out on the 12th, on Friday the 12th, August 12th. Okay, great. So uh, I Friday will be, yes, I will be, uh, I'll be at Soul Joe's Comedy Dome September 17th, and I believe it's in Pottsville, uh, Pennsylvania. If you are in uh, London, if you're in the UK, listen I got guys, some British fans on the show. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do, seriously. I'll be at uh, 21 Soho. One show only, uh, 21 Soho, October the 7th. Then I'm going to see my G-Men on the 9th. Uh, I'm doing a one-nighter DC Improv, October 19th. And then the next night, October 20th, I'm doing one night Philly Punchline. So uh, you could check out, uh, yeah, man, check out all those dates. Was it paulverzi.com? paulverzi.com, V-I-R-Z-I. The special is um, Nocturnal Admissions on Netflix right now. I do two podcasts, one, The Verzi Effect, which is myself and sometimes a guest. I also co-host one called anything better with Bill Burr. Both are on the All Things Comedy uh, Network. ATC. And uh, ATC. And uh, yeah, dude, and I gotta be honest with you, man. Doing it on the Netflix thing, like the way like it spreads and people watch it and you're a comic who's doing it for fucking a long time and it, it's it's great and you're, you're gonna get positive reviews, so it's great. This is the move, man. This, yeah. is, the, this is the future. Uh, watch his podcast. Uh, watch and or listen. Uh, definitely watch the special. Please do that and go see him live if you can. We'll put the links in the description down below to go buy some of those tickets because I'm sure they're gonna sell out. My London Pip Pip Cheerio go see your boy and go support him if you see him at the football game uh, oh, sorry the American football game yeah. gotta be careful over there football is their footy soccer oh like yeah they get a world. little American yeah. football game yeah. give him a shout out um, we end the episode the same way you look in your camera right there Yep. you say one word or one phrase uh, I used to be a phrase years ago and then people were like oh, no, uh, I mean it used to be a word and now I'm like if you have a phrase that you want to say to end the episode look in that camera and say it it's going to end this episode and it'll be embedded in f history forever so any phrase one or word like or one phrase that you want to end this episode to close it off when you're ready look in that camera and say it undeniable in here we pour whiskey 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 Creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me five dollars for the whiskey and seventy-five dollars for the horse. Gingers are oh, hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger, I like gingers.